and today we are going to be painting a load of hobbits. Um, whilst we're doing it, we thought, why not stream it and have a chat with you guys? So, we have an absolute rake of hobbits ready to go. So, we're just going to paint along and we're going to chat with you guys, chat about what we're doing, why we're doing it. You guys can jump in, ask us questions about whatever you want, just ask about hobbits or the town, you know, what it's about. So, yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Phone call sound. Just bear with me. Is it quiet or is there no sound? Can you let us know, people? We are using a very new and technical sound system which should make it How does that sound, people? Can you let us know? Like I say, we're using the new sound system, so it's trial and error. Lion mammal, does this sound better? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're sorting it out. Don't worry, people. Give us two seconds. Can we go into a holding screen? We're going to we're go going into to the holding screen. I think we're just going to plug the mic in and do it our old school way. Um, yeah. And yeah, give us two minutes, guys. Or is that okay now? Let us oh. know. Does this sound better? No change. Don't there is a delay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Delay. So. Better. Static negative noise. Much, Much better. better. Are we cooking? So we're on now. Are we on now? Is we it, all good? Are we all good? Fantastic. Yeah. This is how I we think... roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Top table. That was so seamless. Yeah. It was amazing. The thing is, we, we have got, you can't see, but we've got Nick, who's our tech guy, who's literally just sat there and he has a table full of wires and switches and all sorts of stuff. This is new and hopefully going forward, it's going to make our streams 10 times better sound yeah. wise and things like and, that like, we won't have to be there like oh let me just check this yeah and, yeah like, basically we can just concentrate on talking to you guys and Nick's just going to control everything which is great obviously it's the first time we've used it it's so like a proper like few it's TV like a radio problems. studio it's quite, like that, it's, it's it? quite it's daunting like... seeing what's ahead of me I wish yeah, you guys yeah. could see it I'll take a picture of <laughs> I'll Nick I'll tell you what shall, shall, shall I take a picture <laughs> take a picture now? of Nick so and we'll post it in the group I'll post it in the group but basically yeah if you didn't hear in the beginning what we've done or what we've decided to do we need to get a ton of hobbits painted up for the scenarios in the Scour of the Shire book. Now, we we, do, we don't need as many as we thought, but we still need to paint a lot. So we've got loads yeah. here. Last night, I undercut them all in Wraith Bone and um, done all the flesh in Gullum and Flesh using the contrast paints just to make it quick. So today we're gonna sit here, fill in all the colors for the clothing and stuff like that, um, and just have a chat while we're doing it. It just seems like a nice way to kind of get ourselves back into the Middle Earth scene. We've been doing a lot of war cry right at the moment and sort of focusing on some 40k stuff which I know a lot of you guys are not into Middle Earth will always be a staple on this yeah. channel it's, um, it's, it's why I started war yeah, really. yeah I love Middle Earth and I have really really missed it and I've been dying to get into these scenarios and the plans that we've got for you guys for battle reports from these scenarios I hope it's going to blow your way so without further ado uh, let us know what you guys have been doing we'll set up our painting stations I've got my wet palette my brushes my yep. paint pot and we've got a collection of paints. Uh, have you guys played any of the scenarios from the Scouring? Have you been playing any Middle Earth at all? Doesn't have to be Scouring related. Um, let's just get some chat going. I and thing. You can keep us you company. Just, uh, that won't matter. And it's died. And we still. I'm not hearing any. You're joking me, are you? Are we still live, guys? So, 
more tech issues. Don't yeah, worry. That's it. Let's just assume that we're still live anyway. So should we start painting? Yeah. Um, painting? Have you done? What have you been up to, in Middle Earth wise, Ben? Have you been as quiet as me? I've been quite quiet. I was painting some um, Rangers of the North, and I had like a Rangers of the North army that I was I was working on. So I had Halberd. Um, I picked up all the the Grey Company with the Made to Order a little while ago. Yep. Um, so that is that's still kind of on my painting table at the moment. But obviously, there's other things that have kind of taken. I guess precedent that we were having a chat about it yesterday that you know sometimes we we're almost not forced to paint stuff but we, yeah. we need to paint stuff up for the channel um, so a lot of the time um, you know sometimes our own personal we're still projects we're still, to, we are still live by the yeah, way still with us aren't you guys yeah we are still live because um, I've got so, on. yeah cool um, so yeah sometimes you know we have to forego our own personal projects to yeah. uh, to make sure that stuff for the channel gets painted um, so once I get back to that I've, I've got Six Dunedain that are kind of half painted, yeah. um, so I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting some a little bit more paint on them fairly soon. How about you? What have you, have you done? Anything Middle Earth? Uh, Middle Earth wise, no, nothing for a long time. Um, I know, really what have you been working it. on then? Um, 40k stuff, as you know, for the campaign. Um, I'm really feeling 40k at the moment, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. That's, um, not, that's not what we're here for. No, that's not what we're here for. I am really, really excited for getting back into uh, Middle Earth. What about you guys? Um, let me know. We, do you know what? I, talking about it, have any of you guys been to an event recently? I, I can't remember the last <laughs> event I went to. It's probably the Weekender. Yeah, but I hosted that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. You didn't even play in that one. Do you know what? I tell a lie. I was at one at the Forge. I went you to will. One at the that, Forge. Yeah, you did. That um, was February time. I did a video on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was the last event I went to, and that needs to change. I really. We have. Should we spoil it? Should we spoil it? Yeah. So we've had this crazy idea now that we have Nick sorting out all our tech. Um, to if there's any TOs watching, by the way, let me know what you think of this idea. Top table gaming has always and always will be um, very strongly associated to. Middle Earth SBG and and uh, the Great British Hobbit League b because of myself Ben and Jay. Yeah. Um, you know we're still avid players. We still first, we still our love. first loves. Yeah. So what I'd really like to do um, is stream um, events. Not not just ours. We're going to start with ours. Ours are going to be the uh, testing test ground, yeah, like yeah. if you like, and we're going to stream top table. But we're not going to do. The streams that you used to see at events, which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with, and I'm not slating anyone. Um, you know, where you just got a, a camera top down, and, and you don't you just, really you know what's going you don't on. Know what's do you? Going on. you can't hear what the players are saying. You know, you've not got anyone there telling you what's going on. You can just kind of see, and you've got to guess. The way we want to do it is very similar to how our battle reports are. Um, so we will have a, a top down that's a, a HD camera, um, and we'll also have someone on site in and around the top table. Not interfering with the players because obviously that can't happen. Yeah. Um, moving a camera that we can flick to that does close-ups of where the action's going on. Uh, we also will have a couple of people set up either at the venue or here in our studio, who will be commentating on what you can see. So talking so through. I think it, it gives it. It will give a little bit more context to what's happening because sometimes I've watched some of those yeah. those battle reports and do you know what? it's great watching sort of top level players, but actually sometimes you can't. You don't know what their thinking is. You no. can't really see what the models are because the camera's so far away, and yeah. you know that that's just kind of the the tech limitations that yeah. that are in place. But actually, because we've got we've got all this gear, yeah. um, and we've got a, I wouldn't say we've got technical know how because obviously we're, we're <laughs> Nick, a little Nick, bit Nick's, Nick's got, got technical, technical know how. Well. Um, but now that Nick's on board with us um, as our kind of tech support, um, you know it, it it means that actually we can kind of take advantage of that and use some of the the skills that we have learned yeah. and and kind of what Nick has picked up over yeah, yeah. Uh, whilst helping us it um, also means that while we're commentating as well um, you guys can do what you're doing now and get involved in a chat screen and we can yeah. we can chat you know absolutely you know, yeah, we, yeah. You, it, it'll be nice for people who are not able to attend certain events to get involved it, it was a really nice idea um, and we kind of did think about making it happen at Articom yeah, because Articon's obviously next weekend yep. now. Um, but when you know, from a from a logistics point of view, it's it's untested. We wouldn't want to be able to sort of say we are definitely doing it yeah. without having tested it on maybe a smaller event or. And it's such a big um, undertaking. We wouldn't want to jump into it and it fail and it would be a waste of time and loads of people tune in. And then actually, everyone would be like really yeah. disappointed with what yeah. they with what they see. So, so we are going to trial run it here at Element Games in the gaming hall, um, and hopefully the first one. Fingers crossed. Don't hold me 
me to it, but fingers crossed he's going to be at the War of the Roses. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do a live. Get, we'll do a live there. stream from there. If it works and works well, and uh, people get involved and it's something that you want to see um, going forward, we won't be at every event. Obviously, that's just not feasible for us to do. But we'll try Some and sort of bigger of pick events, the, maybe the, the bigger events. You know, we'll also have player interviews after the games. These little mics that we have on us, uh, hopefully, as long as the players don't mind, will be rigged up to them, which means you won't be able to hear them. But the commentators will, so we'll be able to. So we'll discuss. know when they're using my what they're talking about doing, so we can then relay that to you, rather than guessing. Oh, he must have used might there because he rolled lower, but he won the combat. Blah yeah. blah. But we don't know how many might he used. Whereas with these mics, we will. We'll have all the information from the table, um, and yeah, I just think it's a really good idea. Yeah, um, I, th I think it's great. As you know, as long as it it works, and you know, it's, yeah. it is quite reliant. It's a reliant on a lot of things, isn't it? It's work reliant yeah. on all the tech working. All the cameras working, all the um, uh, you know the, the, the computers that we have in yeah, place, yeah. and because obviously it, will, it almost means that we'll have to transport the entire studio um, yeah. to to an event. So that's what that's they, what we're working on, is it? That's that's, that's what how uh, we make it a bit more Nick, portable. I, I, I have full hundred percent confidence in Nick coming up with a plan for yeah. this to happen, and, and as hopefully to be able to do it off a small desktop or a laptop stream the footage back to the studio and all the kit that we've got here do all the work for us um, yeah. that's kind of the vision that I've got whether it works that way or not we don't know um, it's untried untested but, yeah. but I think it'd be really really cool we want to do. and if it works at the War of the Roses we will definitely definitely put ourselves out there to other TOs who would like us to come and stream their events so everyone's a winner really so we are getting awesome content from events and yeah. staying in touch with the community because I feel like I've not been to enough events and I've lost a bit of contact with a lot of pals that I've made over the years Yeah. Um, so you know top table are gaining from it you guys watching are gaining from it because you get to be at the events see what's happening see watch the games live you know as if you're there um, and get involved in chat about them and the events and stuff like that and the TO overall gets a lot of publicity for his event or her event um, and yeah, it's good for everyone. I think I think it'd be great. No one's doing it. It is a big undertaking. We have everything we need to make it work, and I really would like it to be a thing. Yeah. Like I say, we can't get to every event because a lot of stars have to align. We have to be available. You know, there's a certain number of people who need to be available to do it. I mean, we need yeah. two people to commentate, one person to control the camera. And, and another I'll, person I'll, overseeing I'll, it to make sure, nothing's going to make to make sure that everything uh, everything yeah. works. Um, but I'm sure if it works, it'll look great, and I'm sure a lot of TOs would really love to have it, have yeah. it at their event. I think, and I think people people want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I know I would. Yeah. I know I would because there's lo loads of events that have happened this year um, that I've not been able to get. I mean, we we made a day trip to Seven Stones. We did. It's yeah. an awesome event. Um, I'd love to get to every single uh, event that Damien and Tom put on because they're just great events there's a lot of fun the vibe there is brilliant and they're lovely guys aren't they they're alright they're, they're alright well, yeah. you, know. you might not know them Damien and Tom they make a little newsletter or something once in a while yeah, yeah it's, it's cute isn't it yeah. it's blessed. pretty irrelevant but, pretty irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no it would be great and I would, I would love actually to cover Seven Stones so if you're watching Damien yeah. um, let me know if you would be interested in us doing that um it would be a lot of fun. Like I say, a lot of things have to align. But anyway, I'm going to jump into the comments yeah. and see what Should you guys are talking what about. Everyone's saying. Uh, so we'll have to scroll let's back have up. a look. Yeah, we'll on. scroll up. Okay, so um, uh, we're up to there. This is why live painting never works because you don't get any painting. Don't yeah, you? You exactly. Just sit here talking. Uh, GBHL podcast, which I'm assuming is Ooh, Mr. O'Byrne. Yeah, he says, "Hey, nerds." Hey, man. Hey. Um, just talking about you. Here. Yeah, we were just, I'm sure you heard that. <laughs> uh, Rain, I've played a couple of, oh God, this keeps jumping, uh, a couple of tournament type things with friends of mine. Uh, we make four lists, each 400 points, no allies, and same fees cannot be part of different lists, for example. Nice. Gender. That sounds cool. I'm all for themey, fun stuff like that, mate. Yeah. Chicago Hobbit League, uh, I'm getting ready for Nova. Welcome, Chicago Hobbit League. Yeah. It's good to have you, man. Thank you for joining in. Absolutely. I'm getting ready for Nova here in the USA at the end of the month. Ooh, That's a good one. That's yeah. one you wanted to get out I'd to, isn't it? I'd love to get to Nova. Um, There's no way my wife would let me go to America without her. <laughs> on your own. Uh, unchaperoned. Yeah, unchaperoned. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I might never come back. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's a high risk of that. Um, uh, Panda Pie, uh, you were Steve. Love you being there. Panda Pie is um, David Fear. All right. Forward. How are you doing, Dave? Good to have you, my um, friend. 
Shame you guys couldn't do the second one though. This year, I'm kind of holding off events a little bit because uh, especially, not necessarily local events, but kind of uh, events that are a little bit um, kind of further afield. I'm getting married next year, so yeah. it's uh, I kind of have to be quite careful with, with, with the pennies. And yeah. you know, when you go to an event, it's not just paying for the tournament, it's paying for the hotel, it's paying for the food, it's paying for the we were talking out. about this yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, and, and events just aren't aren't cheap if you do them like regular. Like some no. some people like they go to an event like every every other weekend. Yeah. And I just can't I can't justify it at the moment, unfortunately. So there's something that has to give. So yeah. unfortunately, this year it's been events. Next year, I'm hoping to get to a lot more events because obviously. But the channel, the channel, I found this. Yeah. Although I love doing this, you know, especially the live streams are what I like the most. I like interacting with people, and I, this has become my hobby. I've said it a thousand times. But it has impacted on my the opportunities yeah. that I have to to get to events. Um, yeah. So I I do have to cherry pick them. It was nice. We actually planned to go to Seven Stones, and um, do like a like a a vlog of us getting there. And, and we got there. We ended up just having fun and playing we, games. We, I mean that's testament we, to. We, we filmed we filmed a bit of stuff, but then we put it all together. It's like there's nothing here. Not, <laughs> <laughs> we, we've not really got anything. Um, so yeah, um, unfortunately, we, we decided not to put put that one out it might it's it's there already it's the, i've still got it i've still got it um, but, but, but basically it's what you see now there's a, there's a little bit of footage from the event and um, we got back and we filmed what we thought of it but it's just all sat in front of the desk if you guys would like to see us talking about seven stones let me know and i will put it out but it is just it's, it's just us talking it's for just a us talking there, there was, there's about yeah. there's about 10 minutes of us of, 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 there's a first like two minutes of us in the car like we're on our way mm. to seven stones and there's another two minutes of us we're on our way back from seven stones yeah. but we had a, we had a great time and it's a lovely event it's a great um, event and I think do you know what I, I, I meant to uh, say this the other day like it's funny how the GBHL league I mean not just the G, not just the, the league I mean the community itself it's evolved from what it used to be yeah. we were talking about this yeah, yeah. And, and there's positives and negatives to that from different people's opinions um, but Seven Stones is a prime example the, we went on the Saturday and they had uh, talks um, in a proper lecture hall, it was really daunting. We got up there. My, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll this is no it. problem. This fine. is no problem. We, I got up there, you... turned around, I went, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah. do I say? Yeah. I forgot my own name at one stage. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <laughs> but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm top table. Steve. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's great, and I like that. I like that people are trying to push the envelope on their events and, and slipping things in that no one's done before. Yeah, a little bit new, um, a little bit different. Yeah, um, it's really cool, and that's kind of what we're trying to do. With yeah. the hopefully live streaming events, um, it's going to be. Learned. We've waffled anyway. Let's get. We, we've waffled. So yeah. go back into yeah. The, get yeah. back into the comments. Let's see what people are saying. Um, uh, Rain said, "Then we roll or which list to use." So it's a great way to use models we normally use quite seldom. That's a cool idea. So you make an army. Yeah, I'd love to do an event like that, where you kind of, you know, you you then don't make a filthy list because actually you might come up against it. It's, it's funny you say that. I I suggested. Uh, I think if I don't know if Dan Ant whistles in, but I suggested it to him about two years ago. Yeah. Tos, you know, we as tos myself. I know how hard it is to run an event, so I have fullest sympathy with every other to. And sometimes you don't like me. You don't get a chance to go to events. So I said, why don't we have an event at Warhammer World near Christmas when it's quiet? Yeah. Where all the tos turn up and we all bring something silly like a hundred and fifty or two hundred point list. Yeah. Of anything Something. you want painted yeah, yeah. and you bring it you put it down on the table and then every game you you move along the table you leave so, your army where so it is yeah, so you're yeah. playing with someone else's army every game that'd be cool because then it means that people don't they won't bring a filthy they, list they, yeah because actually yeah. they're going to go up against it at some yeah. stage so yeah. I think I, th I thought that was like a really cool idea and it was just if anything it was just an excuse to get the TOs together where we could yeah. have a few games in the day and then go out in the evening and have a few drinks and yeah. have some food and that but, but yeah, yeah love um, it well. so um uh, so it's great uh, Steve Bonner um, hey Steve I'm how you doing to, I'm going to one last adventure 1st of September run by James Gilray and Ian McGregor I bumped into both of those yeah, dudes you did, uh, yeah. in Belfast uh, City Airport the other week uh, how mad this is that week. I was just sat there like on my own in the corner because there's like a, a little socket so I was charging my phone I was there my earphones in and I see a couple of guys going oh hi Ben I was like are these guys from work are they like <laughs> and then it's like you know when you like see people and you've got no like yeah. I do it all the time, no, mate, no, but I'm old. Yeah, no association where you know from. I was like, 
I know these guys from GBHL. <laughs> um, so it's like really cool to, to bump into them. Um, Try being at a gig when you're with your non-nerd friends. Yeah. And you get recognised. <laughs> Try to hide them. Like, like, uh, nah, mate, don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> You GBHL Steve? No, nah, mate. Who's no. that nerd? No, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then he's going to Scouring of Stirlingshire, second and third of November. Uh, On Bonfire Weekend again, another uh, Stirling event. I can't go to because yeah. I have kids. That, that's that's. A, I think that's like a thing now, isn't I it? I think they do on purpose. Bonfire, yeah. I don't. I don't think they want me there. So that's run by Chris and David Reed. Um, GBHL podcast sounds awesome. Sign uh, sign stems over to twenty twenty up. So that's that's good. That's mm-hmm. uh, a spot on. Um, Will events allow it? Flying Mammal asks. I'm guessing so because they're, they're run by TN. Only if they so. want to. We can't yeah, force yeah. that. We can't just turn barge up. in and start filming. <laughs> so yeah, we up, could t- turn up and burn up. You know, it's like uh, yeah, we probably wouldn't wouldn't just turn up. We'd only do that. it. We'd only do it at events that are not ours on request. Uh, I mean, it'd be great if people got involved. And I mean, they've got nothing to lose. Yeah. We'd make sure that we did it in a way where it didn't interfere. I think that, with the that's games because it is thing, probably going to yeah. be top table. So yeah. you know, sometimes. It quite tense up there um, so and, and you know pe- people people do compete for you know in GBHL it's not just a case of mm. winning one tournament is it it's a case yeah. of actually you know winning or losing a tournament can make the difference yeah, to yeah. your to your yeah. position in the overall league so you know we would want to, to make sure that we aren't interfering with the games and interfering yeah. with the players um, so yeah I, I think it's a really good idea, but that's just my opinion. So this is this is the first time we've actually put it out to people. I mean, yeah, we've di- we've discussed it quite a lot, yeah. um, and obviously we want to make sure that we can uh, we can make it. And anyone who's watching who watched the last uh, stream when we painted with the contrast paints, and I painted the Hobbit, and I was going, "Why are you painting them all browns and darks?" Yeah, and that's just the way I paint. This is yellow. I'm going out there. I'm going yellow <laughs> first. Wow, white yeah. yellow. Mate. See, I, I'm I'm just like painting one at a time here. But it's probably better. If yeah, I, yeah but I batch, batch paint. paint a lot. Yeah, that's true. This I, is this is why I'm not a very productive. Painter. I get one color and I'll go through and do a different item of, uh, yeah. model in that color, and then I'll get the next color and do the same. So may, maybe I should maybe I should start doing that. Uh, you do it. You, you do you, mate. I'll do me. I'll you do, do me. Um, Rob Camp, one of our patrons. Cheers, buddy. How you doing, Rob? Um, not really being able to make it to any events. This sounds great, absolutely, and that's what it's for, really. It's for yeah. for people who can't make it to events but want to want to be involved and want to watch some of those um, what some of those games. Uh, so yeah it should be spot on for, for people like you mate yeah. um, Skullmunch what is this MESPG people talk about is it a Warcry variant <laughs> well it's far far superior to Warcry so anyone who doesn't know uh, Skullmunch aka Sean um, he is a fairly new follower to the channel but he's become a legend already he has yeah uh, he came over from Blackjack Legacy if you're in here because you come from the GBHL if you're into other games and you're not subscribed to Andy at Blackjack, make sure you go and check his channel out. It's an awesome channel. Anyone who's got a link, pop it in the chat. And he's a lovely guy as yeah, well. Yeah, and he so. helps us run the our Weekender event, which is awesome, which is a nice segue. It is a nice segue. Uh, we are running uh, a Middle Earth event within our Weekender event in October. Well, it's uh, not just one event, is it? No, there, there are there two. Are, so there on the Saturday, students. we're running a standard singles event, small points cost. And on the Sunday, we are doing a Battle Companies event. Uh, very based on fun and theme, and just coming down, hanging out, rolling some dice, having Playing some, some games. games. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's and there's not... so much more going on over the weekend around yeah. around you while you're playing. So there's other systems. Um, we now pre- oh, I can't confirm the wild cards. No, oh, although I do, oh, you, you, I can see that there's you, a couple of runaway winners. I think I think there was always going to be a couple of runaway yeah, winners. Yeah. One in particular. Yeah, uh, but we have um, 40k. Mantic are going to be there over the weekend. They're going to take over a corner of the hall and be demoing their game. And, and they're selling some stuff off like super cheap, aren't they? So if it's if it's a game that us, yeah. you might want to kind of get involved with, yeah. um, so uh, they make um, and the new rule set for Kings of War Kings has of War. just been announced. Yeah. Which looks very exciting, and there may or may not be some uh, exciting news uh, over the weekend ooh, to do with that. That's um, cool. But, but we're yeah, not we've got, here to talk about that though. No, we're not here to talk okay. about that. Uh, so, so basically, yeah, there's a lot of other events. We also have Luke from Luke's APS. He's holding um, like a, a small, uh, which got a workshop. Yeah. There is. There should have been ten, but there's eleven because two people. The last two people paid at the exact same time, so I couldn't so, turn one of them away, which was funny. Uh, so there's eleven people on the workshop. And they're um, building a, a really building a cool display, display board. board. So they'll learn how to do all the techniques that Luke does in his videos um, firsthand with Luke. They're doing it on a smaller scale, but everything they do on that smaller scale, they can then take away and do on a bigger scale. They can make boards or more display boards, or yeah. it help you with basing. Because yeah, um, at the last weekend, the Luke came and he he built. Board in that a day. board, it's still there. <laughs> it's still yeah. there. Um, he, he built a massive board in a day, 
Um, and it's beautiful. And it's it's amazing. It's so yeah. you kind of learn how to make that, but on a smaller scale, because obviously. And, and I think our tech guy Nick had a, a a good hand in it. He did. He did. Yeah, he, he, so I, he, I he was there. Did, by the end of the weekend, he was full of, it, really. of PVA and plaster. So he definitely did. I yeah. know. I just rolled around in the mess that Luke made. I don't oh, know. But maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Beard had like dust in it, and there's like some brown paint on him. It's, uh, uh, yeah, but no, that's so Luke will be there, and we also have um, anyone who took part in our painting competition a few months ago with Mr. Tommy Sewell. Um, Tommy is an awesome guy. Um, Lovely fellow. He's, he's become a very, very good pal, um, friend of the channel. But you know, away from that, he's um, I've spent a bit of time with him. I went and seen him the other night. Yeah, he's had, he's had his new baby. He's had a new baby. Yeah, yeah. he's now he's now uh, got as little time as I have. <laughs> that's what happens when you have kids. Um, but yeah, he'll be there. He'll be sitting in a corner. He's going to be. I think I can talk about it. It's not been finalised. I'm meeting him again this week. The exact things that we're going to be doing. But we were kind of working on the idea of probably about six weeks out from the event happening. Yeah. We'll open up a competition similar to what we did, where people will post up their. I call them greys, but it's pictures of the models on a sprue or just base, uh, undercoated. And they'll post the progress leading up to the event uh, of the model that they're going to bring to show Tommy, and he'll judge them and he'll give them advice, you know, that's in that time. Yeah. Which is, by the way, that was so cool. That, it's invaluable that? the advice. I st and I've said this a million times. I still do stuff that I learned off Tommy. It must be ten years ago. Little phrases that he says stick with you and they help you remember things that you might normally forget and it's you and know, that's why just, I'm just able to batch the, paint quite quick, quick you know I, I didn't enter anything in that in that competition and things so I was never happy with anything that I started <laughs> painting um, but you know when when I saw him like because you did a few like judging videos yeah, of, like yeah, halfway yeah. through and um, and seeing some of the advice that Tommy given uh, given some of those um, uh, those painted well, look models, at Gaz Baller exactly yeah and, and but you know is Gaz in? No, I can't. I haven't seen Gaz. I'll smack his bottom if he's not. Uh, yeah, he, he needs to be here. Mm. He, he loves a bit of Middle Earth, doesn't he? We'll um, but I think I think he's run out of Aragons to paint now, so he's, like, <laughs> yeah, he's fallen yeah, out yeah. loving it. Um, but um, but yeah, you know the, the advice that he was giving it was it was things that I would never ever have, have even thought of. Yeah. Um, and and some of that has, as you say, has kind of stuck with me as well, just from just from watching just the from videos watching and things. It, yeah. and it, it's something that I'm a little bit more conscious. of Obviously, it depends what what sort of painting you're doing. You know, if you're just batch painting like we are now, you're probably not going to take that much no. away from it. But actually, I'm you... actually going to get some lessons off Tommy. Yeah, um, you keep yeah, you keep just just because yeah. I'm in the habit of doing this. Yeah, batch painting. But that's what we you have to do it for the channel. Yeah, and it's hard to get out of it. I tried to paint my Untamed Beast uh, for Warcry leader the other night, and I said to Jay, I said, "What I'm going to do? I'm going to put a bit of time into leader because I want him to stand out." Um, and don't get me wrong, I was happy with how he turned out. But I couldn't break my habit of everything being Rushed, get it on, yeah, get yeah. it. I want this bit done, I want that bit done, I want to move on to the next bit. I just couldn't get out of that mindset, so I'm going to take a few lessons with Tommy to just sort of settle me back down and get me back into a nice slow, slower routine. rhythm. But and, yeah, he, and he's painting stuff to a I always standard. branch off. I'm terrible, aren't I? Yeah. Anyway, Tommy is going to be there. He's going to be at the painting stations. He's running a couple of competitions. One which you paint leading up to the event. You bring it, and he'll judge it on the day. And then other ones where he's just going to walk around the hall. I think I'm just just pick the models that he likes and then pick a winner and then other ones where you might have to come and start and finish the model over the weekend sit with Tommy Yeah. but that doesn't mean if you're in between games if you've come down just to hang out you're not taking part in any events or maybe you've signed up for an event on the Saturday you've got nothing to do on a Sunday you can just bring something along sit with him and he's a cool guy just to chat to he is, he's yeah. a wealth of knowledge he and he's lived a pretty uh, exciting life he's got a lot of stories to tell um, and you can just sit with him and have a chat, and he's a great guy to get to know. And he's yeah, he's he's very generous with his knowledge. He very is. very generous with he his is. knowledge. Yeah. So yeah, you can do that. That's cool. Um, we have the Saturday night shenanigans. Yeah. Which is awesome. So we've got a quiz which Andy's going to be putting on. Yeah. Um, I think there's going to be maybe a little bit more participation mm -hmm. for the people involved. I'll say no more. Um, yeah, but that'll be a lot of fun. We're hoping to put on um, the booth, the camera booth. Yeah. So that people can that'd be uh, cool. Come in and just say how much fun they're having and how great I am. Yeah. Well, I'm the favourite host on that, you know, standard. Yeah. Um, Wasn't that part of a questionnaire <laughs> that went out? Very <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just so much going on. There's too much for us to go into. Um, but what about but the Middle Earth? The events? Middle Earth events are which some, we we're coming back full circle now to full to circle, what we yeah. Have to discuss. Um, so sing, singles event on the Saturday, battle companies event on the Sunday. So if you are at a loose and you know at that weekend check out the event page for Top Table Legacy Weekender it's on um, Facebook search it 
um, come and join us it'll be a lot of fun um, you can just come down and hang out and play games there's going to be a lot of games on demoing and stuff which would be which would be cool um, sorry for this feedback yeah our tech guy's messing about <laughs> uh, can you get that off Ben yeah we'll jump back into the comments and I promise I won't branch off this time we'll actually listen to what you're saying in fact I'm going to read them yeah while you do a bit of painting because I'm being very cool. selfish with your time to, uh, it's about here yeah walk right variant yep so but 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 um, hi rain i still love middle earth sbg don't worry says sean uh fly mammal it's our fave yes it's everyone's fave good idea streaming the events guys yes scott scott is uh, a very very loved member of the gbhl um and he's been i think scott if you've been you've been to every one of my events am i, am I saying that right scott johnson yeah, yeah i'm sure yeah, you have yeah. Uh, we were talking about you yesterday. We were. About that prize that you walked away with at the last raffle that I wanted to keep for myself. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the Aragon bust? The Aragon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not a bust, it's like a posable miniature, but it's not a toy. It's one of them like collector's sideshow things. I'm sure his missus loved that as well. Like, yeah, you know, coming on with that. Like he sat thing, there playing with it. Like, yeah, yeah. Action Mama, she's watching Coronation Street. <laughs> yeah. uh, Every time I come home with a prize <laughs> or something, missus just goes, what the... Yeah. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> where are you, where That's are you, not going anywhere. Where, where, yeah, where are you going to put that? Uh, Panda Pyre says, sign the forge up to that for the next event there. Good stuff. Yeah, good to hear. Definitely. Nice local one as well. <coughs> definitely, yeah. And it's quite, uh, it's nice lighting in there as well. Good. Uh, Green Tree says, have you been working on a new Shire board? Watch this space, it's Green Tree. Happening. Again, they, they, they must be psychic, these guys. We, Me and Ben met up for lunch yesterday. Yeah. A lovely lunch, by the way. Um, and we, we were trying to sort of set out our next couple of months of what we're going to be doing with the channel and uh, what we want to work on and what, what we want to work what on. We want to prioritize and really. Middle Earth was like pretty much top of the list because yeah. I, I feel like I've um, neglected it a little bit. bit we, we've, yeah. had, we've played a couple of battle reports and things, but um, and like whatever, the last couple of battle reports we played, they've kind of gone completely different. Yeah. Both of us anyone who's watched them. I, who's watched the Gothmog scenario and who expected it to turn out like that? That was a that funny was, one. It was savage, that. Yeah. Proper, proper Easy savage. to edit. It took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about 10 minutes long. <laughs> uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Rains. Uh, Damien says, already said it, mate. Psychic Damien. Standard. Standard. <laughs> Uh, Rain says I actually watched the Warcry Battle Report and won't watch anything about that game anymore mostly because I can't afford to start playing it well, just, you can just, just buy a warband you can just yeah just buy a warband if you've got somebody else because you can use, yeah. you don't have to use the terrain I think that's like a bit of a misconception that people have you don't have to use the terrain that comes with that no, box, no, no. Do you? You, can you can play can on any board what, use what you want yeah you can play on any board um, I think watching our battle reports you could quite easily pick up the rules would you like to see a video how to play yeah that's an interesting one would you like to see that Maybe in stages, yeah, two or three videos, how to play Warcry. You then don't need to buy the rule book. You could buy a warband and you know, yeah. Hashtag you know, check the links below. Element Games using our affiliate. Yeah, if anybody wants, you to get them that, for about yeah. twenty quid a warband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a great game. It is a great game. Uh, do you know what? It, it's. I know we're not here to talk about it, but I thought I, I'm kind of middle earth through and through, really. Yeah, yeah. But it's a game that I've kind of picked up. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, it's dead quick, and you know, you, it, you can have a game within sort of half an hour 40 minutes easily yeah. um, so it's uh, yeah it's good I love it I'm unbeaten at the moment so that's probably why I love it I'll get beaten I'll go I don't want to play this game no <laughs> yeah, more it's terrible <laughs> worst game ever uh, Damien says recent tournaments went to Warhammer World Doubles yes you did, you did very well you came yeah, third yeah. with Mr Adam Troke uh, with Grey Company uh, was absolutely ace congratulations my friend um, I've seen the pictures and I was very jealous that I couldn't be there yeah. but we were there the weekend before with the Age of Sigmar open day yeah you were um, yeah. and I just I I was away. Actually, I was in. I was away with the kids that weekend, so that's why I couldn't come. Um, David says we'll have to organise a game, guys. It's been too long. My friend, I was saying it's. I can't remember the last event I went to. I can't remember the last game I played for fun. Well, every fun. every fun. game it's, I play, every, every game's fun. Yeah, every game's fun. <laughs> but what I mean is, every game I play, you guys see it. It's on camera. Um, yeah. I wish I had more time. Um, it, it, you know, is it? It's not yeah. long. My girl, you know, my girls are five and seven. Not long till they're eighteen, and then I'll have loads of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have loads of time. I can kick them yeah, out then. Yeah, that, that's, that's uh, definitely how it works. I'm sure, isn't it? That's, uh... Steve Bonar says hashtag still painting too easily. <laughs> this one. I'm, I assume you're referring to the, one of the very first live streams I did from home, where I, I pretty much did this. I said I'd paint Easterlings while chatting, and I painted 
two Easterlings in yeah. about three hours or something like that. Because I, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damien says recent hobby just received a big order from uh, Thomarillion ready to super secret for a super secret project for TOS. Very exciting. It is Ooh. very exciting. Very exciting. I like their Th- stuff. Thorn, yeah, yeah, really nice. Stuff. I like it's all stuff. like resin. Um, stuff isn't it I think yeah or, or is it uh, it's resin or they do that is it like uh, what do you call it rock foam or something yeah yeah the, the hard foam yeah. I think it's like foam and they coat it or something but yeah it's nice it's nice stuff um, Chicago Hobbit League TO tournaments uh, sounds pretty cool yeah it was an idea I had and a few people were interested but it was just one of those things that then other things I'll came take, before it yeah. I'd, I'd still like to do it but saying that it would end up being a massive tournament because there's that many TOs now Yeah, there's so many yeah, events yeah, yeah. When, I, when I suggested it I think there was like 15 of us and yeah. now there's like probably 40 of us because yeah. Um, yeah. there's a lot of, of, of new events kind of like sprung yeah. up which which is good yeah. um, and, and obviously it's great it's great for the, the community that there are so many events and that so many events that actually are getting fill, filled up as well yeah um, yeah, yeah. You know, and especially some of them that are new, you know, it can be quite difficult to mm-hmm. to fill up new events, can't it? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's that's really promising for for the game as a whole. Yeah, it's all good stuff. Um, Matt Mountain, woohoo, painting. Yeah, no man, painting. I'm not as uh, prolific as you at painting, my friend. Not to your he is a not st- <laughs> not he- to your uh, skill levels anyway. But yeah, I, t- I try my best. I try my best. I was going to say he's a stunning painter, but he's both stunning and a painter. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, but he's all, he's, it's some of the stuff that he paint is is amazing yeah. uh, i think am i right in saying you, you you do like on a regular um three hours a night that's insane yeah, that, that, my friend. That, that, yeah that is insane i mean kudos to you man that's uh, that's yeah. commitment that, that that's is I, I, fair play <laughs> i couldn't do my it. hands would drop off i know It'd be, uh... uh chicago hobbit league if you guys ever willing to come out to chicago at the end of march for adepticon one year we'd love to have you my friend as I said before, I would love, love, love to come out to an American event. Um, I just, 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 yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd bring the fluffiest, naffiest list that will do nowhere, go and end up bottom of the table. But just, just to attend one so, of them, yeah, yeah, and have fun and meet everyone and chat. Um, I'd love to. The problem I have is <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I mean, I, I am so, a self-employed in my own business, so I've got work commitments. That's one thing. But the main hurdle would be convincing my wife that uh, she has to stay home with the kids while I swan off to America to play with toy soldiers for a week yeah. um, it, it, it's, it's, a diff- it's, yeah. it's a difficult one to convince the, the other halves of anyway if they don't kind of yeah. get it um, I'd never say never Yeah, you know the, the channel might jump up to like 10k subscribers uh, and, it, and, it, and it would pay for us to go. You know, I could, it's I could like, say, you know, it's channel work, love. It's channel work. I've got to go. I've got to go. I think, I think you never know. We're, we're, we're away off that, yeah. yeah. Um, you guys can help share the channel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, for, for me, it's something I'd love to do. But again, um, you know, I've got um, stuff going on next year, which which obviously take is taking up a lot of my, my kind of funds at the moment. Yeah. Weddings are a lot more expensive than you think they're going to be. Oh, yeah. Um, so... Um, they, are, I, I they are when you hand the checkbook over, my friend. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, it, it, it's going to be a no from me for the next uh, next year or so, at least. Yeah. But after that, I, I'm not saying never. No. Um, I mean, De- Devin to. spoke to me, he spoke to me on numerous occasions about getting over to Nova. Um, and, you know, it, was, it would it would have just been a case of me getting the flights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's more the permission. Yeah, permission the is permission the, permission yeah. is the, the, the hurdle. But uh, yeah, uh, one day, one day I definitely will. And I'll come and say hi to you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. Fly Mama says, uh, why were Ben and Lee not in the survey? Well, I didn't write the survey, Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> it's more to do, I'll be honest, it's more to do with Top Table Legacy isn't a Top Table thing and it's not a Blackjack Legacy thing. It's an... Andy Jane Steve thing pretty yeah. much um, yeah. you're just branding it you know with yeah yeah we, and, you know uh, why would we not use the support of the communities that, that we're part of yeah that, exactly. that, that's, exactly that's basically that. the reason exactly. that's not to say that Lee and Ben are not involved and they won't be there and you can get to sign t-shirts and give autographs and selfie ten pound a selfie was it yeah something like that but I'll, I'll sign it I'll, you know like if you get print out I'll sign it afterwards that's fine <laughs> that's a fiver yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> of course they'll be involved but yeah that, that's that's mainly the reason um, yeah cool. I think we're actually going to run over I think well, I think we're going to run over I think we're going to run over our, gonna... our, our set thing as long as everyone's alright with that then, then we're alright with that um, what I'll do I'm going to run through I'll run through the comments. Do you want to do some close-ups of our yeah. lack of lack of painting? So it's about about there. 
sure, we'll I'm get sure, close I'm up sure cam. Nick will be able to, to tell us how. So if you, we'll get we're gonna get them on screen now. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. So if you do the transition, people should be so able to that's, see. So that's that's what I've been painting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so as you can see there, I've got Ben's, really, really Ben's loving browns and blues at the moment. I've only painted one colour on mine. Oh yeah? Well, yeah. Yeah, but you've got you've got a million of them done. <laughs> I, I brought a load of painting handles and I've not paid anything on a painting handle. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I've, I've, yeah, I've started, I've started batch painting now, but I'm a really slow painter though. I am a horribly slow painter. How, how, have, you, how have you got that many done? Like... That's how I roll, mate. Well, yeah, I know, but... That's how I roll. I've been like you doing all the chat and the... Yeah, that, that's true, yeah, yeah. You, you've, had, you've done uh, way more painting than yeah, that. But that. Yeah, so that's that's where we're at up to now. So we'll flip back to the main screen um, and I'll get back into the comments. So, doo -doo 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 -doo, where were we up to? Rain says, any news on the weekend of three? I have already <laughs> negotiated a permission to go from the missus. That is awesome yes. news, Rain. And don't worry, 100, 100%, 110%, 120% if you want. There is going to be a weekend of three. I think the weekend is going to be a staple on the calendar from now on because the vibe that it's sort of creating is is exactly well. It's beyond what we wanted it to do. Yeah. Uh, we we wanted an excuse to get everyone in a hall. I mean, any, anyone can arrange an event and say, "Let's all meet at this date in this hall and get everyone together." But it's a lot harder than you think. Yeah. Um, and people I, I, really need to get on board with the I, idea. The thing and is. They there is some risk involved for you guys. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, you know, you, you, you're almost committing to, to Element Games to say that, Jock, yeah. we are going to fill that hall. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. actually, if you don't, you, yeah. you look like a bit of an idiot. And then yeah. if you try and organise well, other events... Well, I look like a bit of an idiot most of the time. Well, you do, it? yeah. But I, I didn't really want to say that. Anyways, <laughs> I thought it was a bit mean to say it live on air. But, um, but, you know, there, there is kind of that element of risk involved. Mm. Um, and obviously, if you're buying prizes and stuff like that, and only yeah. three people turn up and everyone goes home with a prize, you know, you end up losing... Um, you, you know, it... it because they cost you to run, don't they? they you know, they, yes. it's yeah. yeah. They're not, um, they're not free. Um, no, no. And and you're you're quite generous with your prizes. Um, yes, I would say. Well, this uh, is one of going back to what you said about you know when you go to an event, you know you got to pay for a hotel and you got to pay for food and things like that. So yeah. You want at, at my events, I I like to think that, you know, people are going away with something, that, is worth that investment. Yeah. Um, not everybody can do that, obviously. Um, but at my events, I the prize is for best theme, best painted. Sometimes may outweigh yeah. your podium prizes. Not to say that your podium prizes are not awesome. I always like to go with the wetter things, you know, and I'd yeah, like yeah. to stick to that theme, keeping like wetter statues. Um, and they're not cheap. But to be honest, when I started the scouring, it was never never a money maker for you, was it? No, uh... it was. I was at, I was uh, a pretty avid member of the league at that time and I was going to a lot of events at that time um, and loved them but for me there was always I wish there was an event that did this or I wish there was an event that did that and it was mainly about the boards and terrain yeah. and playing on boards that really contest your army and make you think and that's why I decided to do the scouring uh, which is because you, uh, you built god knows how many boards yeah. uh, over uh, it, it, a majority of the boards that you'll play at, at my events are, are custom boards like and part of Middle Earth and yeah. very recognisable which a lot of people will know if they've been I'm not going to harp on about it no. um, but yeah that's the way the scouring's been and I like the fact I actually like the fact and I'm not saying yeah I did that but there's a lot of events that are kind of doing a very similar thing now Yeah, yeah. and I think it's amazing because cool. there's one thing that I don't I don't hate it hate's a strong word but I kind of have a bit of a mm, you know when you you get you turn up at a table and it's a gaming mat with five pieces of terrain on it. I know, uh, like a I know, couple some, of trees, couple of houses. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, you know, having a really pretty board across your whole tournament, if you've got over X amount of players, is nigh on impossible. I get that. I totally get that. But there's still for me playing on a really thematic, cool nice, looking board. Yeah. There's nothing like it. Yeah. There's nothing like it. It just adds to the fun. It's the, it, it's it's immersion, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's ultimately why we play it. It's yeah. um, it's to be kind of immersed in in Middle Earth, and yeah. and I think the having nice boards and things does really kind of help with that. So, yeah. um, so you kind of touched on scouring. Is yeah. there another scouring this year? Yeah, it's the finale, the league finale, which is exciting. Um, and that is, I want to say, the 9th and tenth of December. It's basically the second weekend of December. The I mid mean, dates might be off by a day or two. It's so the second weekend of December. It's at Element Games. Um, tickets are going to be going on sale very, very soon for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to be. I'm not doing this live stream to push it, um, but it's just to say that it would be lovely if 
all a lot of my old friends could make it and new friends who have, who have got chatting to that yeah. would be amazing and I have some special things planned for that weekend so it's going to be very very nice very very nice it's been two years yeah well since the uh, last it's almost yeah because it was in the jan- you had the, the I, I had the league opener last year and I've got the finale this year so yeah. there's been two years between Scouring and this is the first time that Scouring will be at Element Games which is great because this is where the, where, where we're based. Last, where did you have it last time? I, I used to do it near my house in Oshkham, so we, I used to do it at, um, in a church hall at first, yeah. um, which was which was a great venue, great venue. The mm. problem with it was... Too small. It was too small, yeah. Like I've been really fortunate in the sense that when I put tickets on sale for scouring events, they're pretty much sold out in a day. Yeah. Um, and you know I've had a wait, can, people, can you put me on the waiting list, can you put me on? And I've always felt like, I've always struggled and really wanted to squeeze people in and sometimes I've squeezed a few extra in and, and like and then I've regretted it because it's been quite tight yeah and especially it, luckily it's winter this year but last year it was it was really warm like really warm in the hall and then I did it in another hall which was slightly bigger and got a few more people in but still the same problem so having it here at Element Games normally I wouldn't have done because I live in Altrincham and it's a fair way for me to cart a load of boards to stop up yeah. um, but now we're based here all my boards are here everything's yeah. here it makes complete sense for it to be here and the hall can accommodate we, we can pretty much take the lid off it yeah. and say there's the tickets whoever wants to come can come and I'm hoping I'm hoping no one is disappointed and can't get in I mean no. it'd be great if I could fill that hall yeah um, but I think because it's the league finale as well you know there will be well, I think there'll be a bit of competition for tickets. Well, you know, that people will want people want to be there, don't they? Yeah. You know, you've got people that, you know, we've we've already talked about the league, but you know, people want to be at the league finale because obviously it's the league finale, and there'll be people kind of trying to get you know positions in, yeah, in the league yeah. and things like that, and this will be the last opportunity to do it. So, yeah. um, you, you know, I think I think it'll 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 be all right. I think it'll be. I think good. it'll be good, and don't let that put you off if you're a new player. Um, I always think. Some people might disagree with me here. Um, tournaments, events, weekends, they're kind of split into two groups. So you have a, a, a smaller group, which will be your top five to 10% who are compete, competing. Yeah, and yeah. that's why they play the game, the game to, to compete and do the best that they can, which is fantastic. That's that's what floats your boat, great. There's no, no issues with that at all. Everybody's entitled to get out of the game what they wish. Um, and then you have, I think, the majority of yeah. people who come because they love the game, they love the system, they love talking, they love the films, they love the books. Do you know what I describe They it? love the community. Do you know what I, I, I I've started looking at it as is you get people who you obviously got like professional footballers and stuff like that. Yeah. But you still get people that go and play Sunday League and or, yeah, yeah. I, I like you know go down to the little local club. I and played play, Sunday so. League for years. Do, 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 do you know what I mean? It's like could have made it pro. You could have made it. <laughs> but but you know you've got all different levels, and it doesn't mean that everybody has to be a top table player. Like you no. can go and just have fun because I I, I, I you know you probably heard me harp on about this a couple of times. I tried one year to be competitive to sort of say right, you've done it. Where, where can what, what can I, what can I actually do? Yeah. Where, where, how can I, where can I push myself to? And um, I think I've podiumed twice. Yeah, no more than twice anyway. Um, at events and it's a different kind of fun. Yeah. So there's like a satisfaction to it, but I have to say I have much much more fun building a cool list that looks cool, that is thematic, and playing in and amongst people of the same mindset. Yeah. Now if you're a competitive player. You probably get a lot more from the game playing on them higher tables against other competitive players because it's, it's like a battle of minds. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you know, it's it's like a well, you know, SPG is a bit like a game of chess, I guess. You know, yeah. to some extent, um, with just more rules. But it is that kind of you know, testing your skill and testing your mind yeah, against yeah. against other people. There's there's also like a a hybrid player. I like to think of them as who <laughs> can bring lists that are very thematic. Very fluffy. No one's seen before, and everyone thinks they're not going to do very well with that, and then, and then go win a tournament with batter it. Batter everybody. And there's two people that spring to mind. One of them is the obvious one, which is Mr. J. Clare. Yeah. He seems to bring a different um, army to most events and does very, very well. Um, so, hats off. And then I know that Mr. Tom Harrison yeah. has been able to do it once in a while. With lists that he has no right to do it with. Uh, I think he did it with a, a warg list one year, and I think Damien will 
Yeah, um, I don't think the log list did very well. Was it not the log uh, list? Uh, uh, I know there was a list that I think he shouldn't have done well with. Was it I a think, Rohan list? It, it may have been. I think the log list is is quite famous for, for not doing, doing well. Particularly I'm sure poorly. he did well with a with a, um, with a bad list, but um, yeah, I'm sure if Damien's still in, he'll, he'll come in. I'm going to jump back into the comments quickly yeah, yeah. because time is running away. We said we'd finish at eleven. We're not going to finish at eleven. We will hang we're around. Going to keep it going for a little bit longer. Uh, it's not half eleven. We said, but even, oh, if, even half eleven, we're uh, yeah. Uh, so we uh, yeah, got, did a uh, good job. We sat down. Yellow, are you basing it? Only, yeah. Do you know what? How nice is the yellow top table T-shirt? By the way, check out the uh, merch store on the pinned post on our Facebook group. Do not forget, T-shirts are available. As you yeah. can see, have you got yours on? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't got one of the new ones Oosh. on, but uh, yours yeah, is over there. You know? Yeah, I know I should put it on. Yeah. White ones are really cool. They're the, really nice. The, I like the burgundy one. My burgundy yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, I like the, the yellow ones. We've got really some nice now with well. a. They're not actually available to the public yet. This isn't one of them. Yours is the f solid. We do one which is just the outline, yeah. which I really like. Looks really cool. We've done some, we've had some like test T-shirts done just to mix it up a little bit, but yeah, just nice. try, try, try and see what we yeah. what we like really, because ultimately we we wear them like day in day out. Yeah. I wear them all like the time. Like, yeah, yeah. My yeah. missus keeps saying, "Where do these T-shirts keep coming from?" <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I'll get them what, for free. What, them why, for why free, are you yeah. wearing so many of these T-shirts? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Someone keeps sending me. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. Uh, just, 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 just group, <laughs> group on part of yeah. Uh, where are we? Do 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 do. Chicago Hopley, watching Warhammer TV taught me some great basics to light coats, yeah. <laughs> um, I love Warhammer TV. I love the painting stuff. I, I, that, I think that's what attracted me to the new, like, all the different 40K models. Yeah. Because I'll watch, I'll watch any painting tutorial. They don't have to be painting something that's Middle Earth. No. I'll watch just to get techniques. So, yeah, they, I, I really like them because they're, they're, they're not high-end, and I don't mean yeah. that in a a bad way no no the I, kind I, I of know techniques exactly there that is, is it very achievable for, very achievable for most painters and yeah. have you, you notice that some some of them are kind of a little bit more in depth than than others yes um and sometimes do you know that all it is is like literally base coat wash yeah and and a highlight but actually the way that they show it makes it look really yeah. really good and and actually you know if you've never had to do that before it's it's yeah. it shows you and it show it shows you how well you can make a model look just by doing them basic techniques yeah. well so I've always said, like when people say, "Oh, you know, how do you get better at painting?" And I'm I'm not a great painter; I'm, I'm a bit average at best. Um, but I'll, I will I will always say, master your basics first. So yeah. putting your base colours on, paint by numbers. Get, Make, if if that's neat, solid base colours. If you yeah. get your base colours on and it's neat, um, you that's know, nice straight that. lines, no overlap, um, no smudging, and it's nice and neat. You you whack one wash over that, and it'll look bob on. Yeah. Just with one wash, and you've not even highlighted it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, get your basics done, and I think all the all the other techniques that people try and master before they've mastered the basics is where you can go wrong. Uh, yeah. And I, I was a victim of that for a long time. I went, but I had to basically go back to scratch and start again. Yeah. Um, do, 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 where are we? Do, do, flying man, what asking why you went on survey? I answered that one. Yeah. Uh, Rob Camp buzzing to roll some dice over the weekend. First time I've been to an event since Ardcon two years ago. Can't wait to get some Middle Earth SPG games in. It's going to be great to have you, man. And we're we're, we're honoured that you're actually coming over to yeah. take part in the weekender. Um, um, Rob was partnered with is it Rob Rob Hawksworth? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, so that was that was yeah that was that feels like a long time ago now. It does. I mean, he, Rob was in my house while I was building terrain. Yeah. Um, were you just playing a game with James, or did you film it, Rob? I can't remember. Yeah, there, there's one filmed. Um, I think James had like all. I've watched that battle report, and I think it was James had all um, wizards, something like and, that. Yeah, and I'm sure Rob had all Rohan. Yeah, yeah, James uh, is Rohan. Yeah, because he could just come over. He didn't have any models, I think, yeah. or something like that. Um, yeah, that was that was that was fun times, man. Fun times. Um, where are we? Do, do, do. Where am I up to? Rob Camp. Richard Woods, love the idea of streaming live events. Let me know if you need an extra pair of hands to do a trial run ahead of War of the Roses. Thank you, man. That's greatly appreciated. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a non a non live trial here. Yeah. Um, basically, where where anyone that's involved, myself, you, Jay, um, and especially Nick, can get an image in our head of where things need to be at a certain time. Yeah. And how to set them up in the most economical way time wise for us I think that's probably right isn't it Nick I think there's a couple of ways we could do it and it's finding the one that is the easiest to do and the most effective so yeah. um, so it's what, I, I just, I, I, watch this space really isn't it? I'm most reliable yes yeah. most reliable 
we don't do reliable at top table. Uh, exactly. <laughs> we like to start hence, 10 hence minutes the 20 minutes late, yeah, but, you know, yeah. it's, it's all right. It's great. I, I, it's, I, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be very popular, but I, I know if, if I wasn't doing it and I was running an event and somebody else was doing it, you'd, I'd you'd be like, I'm, I'm on that. get to the event. Yeah. There's, there, there are a few little teeny weeny factors that are involved. Some people might not want to be on camera yeah. and be filmed, and they're, they're the players, so... I think we'd be all right. I think most of the, most of the um, players that are top table at the league events uh, would love to be on camera. Yeah, there's a few big personalities there, <laughs> isn't there? A few big so. personalities. So we'd have to see. There might be other things involved as to why they couldn't be on camera. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, and it's just a thought at this stage. Um, to do Scott Johnson missed your first event Steve but been to the rest we'll be there this year too awesome Aragorn sitting behind me now in pride of place next to Smaug good man good man Rob Campson's always uh, love how to play vids yeah how to play vids are cool because I don't read rule books I'm renowned for it do you know who's super a super super talented player it's Harry Johnson yes he's, he's one to watch the future he, he's he's going to be Mr GBHL isn't he he is yeah yeah, yeah I know I know and it's uh, like playing from such because I'll, I'll Takes it very seriously. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, he don't mess and, about. And you know he's, he's like a. Proper, he's not there to make friends. He's not. He's, <laughs> and he's like a proper like. Because like, how old is he? Twelve, thirteen. I, I don't know. How, but, how old is he, Scott? Yeah, let us know how old he is. But he's like a, a proper mature player. Oh, he's and a tactician. It, it, yeah, it, yeah, definitely. And, it, and it's like, you know, he he, he takes you by surprise, yeah. and yeah, it's uh, it's good. And I I've I've played against him once, but it was like I really enjoyed that yeah, game. Yeah, he knows he knows what he's doing, and at such a young age, I mean that that knowledge. Um, and experience and skill is only gonna gonna grow, so that's awesome. Um, Dice tails assemble the war cry terrain. Uh, just Sigma and graveyard cannot spray due to rain. Bad news. Get a man. shed. Yeah, get a shed. <laughs> get a shed. Oh, I, <coughs> or build like a carport thing. Yeah, I, I've had a, a mare with yeah. um, with and Jay. This. And Jay's had it as yeah. well. What's um, going on with you I, two? I assembled. Um, I know we're talking about Warcry again, but I assembled a warband for Warcry. Uh, what they called the uh, Cipher Lords. Yeah. I built them, and it took a while to build them and things. I was like, right, I'm going to go and undercoat these now. And I'm quite particular with how I undercoat models. So yeah. I, you know, I warm up the cans, I shake them for a good five minutes and things, and I sprayed them. Um, you know, gave them a, a, a decent coat. I think they came back to them, and they looked a bit grainy. Yeah. And then when I went and put paint on them, I realised how grainy they were. So they've had to take a a bit of a bath so I was wondering do you, do you think they were probably like the first Warcry model to be stripped or do you think yeah, probably, 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 yeah, probably, probably right, beat, yeah. Me, beat me to it yeah, probably. Uh, but Jay's had the same issue this week isn't he with, uh, it must with, be the heat it's quite humid it is yeah it uh, could be that I, I've never like, had that problem but I always give my cans a good spray like yeah. some people are quite tight you might be quite tight and I want to make waste paint yeah. I, I give it a good spray yeah. before it goes anywhere near my models and I check yeah, that it's come out alright and there's no problem stingy with my paint you see so yeah maybe maybe it's that I would rather Just spend. Like, I would rather spray twenty pounds worth of paint on on a, on a piece of cardboard than have to strip a thirty pound warband set of models. Yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, okay, so before we get looking back at our slow progress, uh, I'll jump back in here. Where are we? Uh, no, 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 no. Assemble Warcraft. Sorry. Damien says third. Try second, mate. Hashtag boo. Was it second? Oh yeah, it was second. Yeah, you're right. Flipping it. It's a great achievement because you they, so Damien and Adam went with the they had Gimli and Legolas and it was really nice that over the weekend I, I was following whilst I was in the rain in Blackpool yeah and um, over each game they were giving us updates on who was winning in kills between uh, Gimli and Legolas so on uh, Damien's half of his army he was controlling Legolas and Adam was controlling Gimli and it's been this sort of uh, lifelong question who's the best Legolas or Gimli in game uh, I mean it's Gimli all day long isn't it oh, and yeah. they, we were getting up, updates all weekend of the uh, kill tally and it, it was nice to see and I think um, sort of in the background I kept seeing the post saying unbelievably we won the game as well uh, yeah yeah <laughs> I don't think they realised how, how well they done it was more yeah they were more kind of focused on the on the kill tally than anything yeah um, but, um, but the thing is like you know taking Legolas and Gimli. Legolas is seen as a kind of a more competitive, um, uh, yeah. you know, option for for that army. Um, and Gimli's kind of the one that would probably get left out. Would you say? Um, yeah, you don't see Gimli as much as you see uh, Legolas, especially because it was the legend. Uh, what do you call it? Return of the King, Legendary Legion. I think they were playing. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, it was it was kind of good to see that they, they took the the themed approach rather than the the competitive approach. Yeah, uh, and still managed to do well. So that's good. Yeah, so you should be in that bracket actually that I just mentioned that had uh, the, the Thomas Harrison and Jay Claire in. So congrats, man. That's uh, yeah, it's awesome. Good. Uh, I'm going to catch up on these as quick as I can uh, Green Tree wish I could paint I'm terrible at it do you know what we all were at one stage I mean I still am to be honest yeah, but well, um, it's just doing it isn't it yeah it's just, just having the time to, to practice like you, you don't get good overnight and don't um, run before you can walk yeah. it's probably another although know. there are some like horribly horribly talented people out there it's yeah, like oh this really is my annoying. first attempt what, yeah. what do you think really annoying <laughs> yeah that's really annoying I hate <laughs> that I do. I think. Like, oh, I'm sure I could do done better. It's like, oh, I've never painted a miniature before. What do you yeah, think yeah, it is? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's just won a golden demon. You're like, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. Where do you where do you get that from? You're like, yeah, yeah it's all right, mate. I think you need just need a bit more practice. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give so, it up now, mate. Give it up. Yeah, now. yeah. Send it to me. Um, da, da, da. Scott Johnson, regarding streaming events, might be worth filming lower tables on day two as less pressure, so players might be more engaging. Well, the thing is. When you say engaging, the way that it it would have to work because it's because it's it's a tournament, so the players can't really engage with what's going on. They'll just be mic'd up, and the people that are commentating can hear what they're saying. But other than that, we won't disturb the players at all. That's like yeah. one of the main things that you know. If you're playing top table or even middle table, you might still be playing a game you want to win. And the last thing you want is is someone say, "Oh, just hang on a minute, pal, while I, I yeah. get this shot." We can't interfere, so. The only engagement with the players will be after the game, where we'll get them in front of a, a, a camera on a tripod, yeah. and just ask them a couple of questions about the game. Um, so you will get a little bit of interaction with the players, but it will be after the stream, during the actual game itself. Um, obviously, we can't we can't interfere because the timed. That's the problem. We can't be taking up yeah. the time. Because uh, when we're playing battle reports, actually, the stuff that you guys don't see on camera is like you know there's a lot of, there's a bit of chat in between and things like that. But we yeah. we kind of cut all that out. So. Um, some of our battle reports might take, you know, you, it might last us half an hour uh, on on camera. But yeah, actually, if, if you actually seen our battle reports and heard everything you say, you'd be you'd be telling us to go and wash our mouths out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, there's quite a lot of a uh, bit, bit of swearing at times and things, but, uh, but not no, by me, obviously. No, no, you're. you're I never swear. You're 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 a, you're a saint. I'm a basically. good boy. Good boy. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, jump back in the comments. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. Up to uh, flying mammal near the bottom. Omg. A massive pass just arrived. This is not just a warband bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, oh, he used the affiliate link, Munch. No, you'll have used Andy's, won't you? He, he, he's still an Andy fanboy. I'm. I'm, st- <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna work on him over the weekend. See, uh, flying mammals are acting like. Um, like it's a bad thing, but I know. I know really, well she's opened she's it. just like that. She, she's ordered it. Yeah, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Uh, so Fly Mammal cool. remember the cake at the weekend and not too much jam loads of buttercream yeah. that's me you keep banging on about the cake know. you know because uh, I'm, we- I'm weird with cakes though oh yeah like, yeah. just, just weird anyway, I'm, I'm but, weird yeah. with cake I, like chocolate cakes can't be too chocolatey Obviously. just a hint of chocolate just a hint of if they're too right. chocolate it's just too much puts you off um, and I like like normal sponge cake but I don't like the jam to overpower everything else so all you can taste is strawberry jam because I'm not a lover of strawberry jam I don't dislike it but I don't love it Guys, welcome to the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Steve just telling us about some of his favourite cakes. So what I'm just doing is, I'm, 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 so is it subliminally? Sublim- subliminally, yeah. Subliminally, yeah. Uh, Every stream, planting the seed. You, you mentioned this cake. Yeah, in in Ruth's mind, so that she makes the, the perfect cake. The perfect cake, right. Fair For enough. me. But yeah, yeah. Every, everyone else. Not bothered like, about anyone else. It's average, this. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you want to carry on? Yeah, so where are we up to? Skull Munch. Uh, Skull, uh, Skull Munch. Help, help, I'm in trouble. Yes, you I don't, are. I don't think he is, really. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be there like kids at Christmas, like tearing the box <laughs> open, like, oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Steve, on our batch painting for life, hashtag warband or bust, slash army painting. Absolutely. We've seen your, like, your warbands. Yeah. And your warbands aren't even just like 12, it's like 50 models. It's like, oh, that's what I'm doing on Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. Um, Dice Tales, Terrain Wise Kickstarter, the Battle Systems Village. Uh, uh, wonder how we'll clash with some of uh, Warcry bits or have now. Um, so I'm guessing that's the, is that the, the cardboard? The stuff. cardboard stuff. That looks really, really nice. Really nice. So th- that could be used with with. Um, yeah, I don't uh, know how. Um, I don't know if there's any like, platforms or yeah. anything. Like but then there are rules for you know if, if terrain is high and things like that and climbing and things like that. So it doesn't really. I don't think you're kind of stuck to 
you know a, a terrain of a certain height or anything yeah. like that you know you, you can use pretty much anything you want um, and that's kind of the beauty of it you can make it your game you know the, the, the two player starter set is, is great for people who haven't got any terrain but if you've got your own terrain already yeah, you, you know there's do what you want with it really yeah. um, but I definitely think it's a game that works better with slightly more terrain on the table yeah I like, um, to, I like to play my games with more terrain anyway so. yeah. yeah I'm nearly done with blue and then we're going to give you a quick update yeah. there's not much to see but I'll update you anyway yeah um, I think we're going to be carrying on this after uh, after the stream <laughs> yeah um, I so, thought we were like, yeah, we'll get twelve well, we'll done. Get twelve done easy. Get twelve done easy. Tidore, Vic, 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 Vic Bladder. Oh, hang on, no, uh, you missed a few. Oh, you missed a few. Dice uh, Tail, uh, Stephen Ball now. Steve, what dates are the scouring? Um, I, th I think. Uh, are you able to find? Uh, you're not in the GBH, are you, Nick? Uh, let me find it on my phone. We'll come back to that one. Yeah, I'll, you, I, well, you, 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 you go through the, the comments and I'll find it. Um, Dice Tales Games Workshop with Next Wing Journeys uh, look intimidating. So many players uh, and sometimes two days have only uh, ever been in small. So I think that's about kind of events and things. So yeah, Games Workshop and um, I think some of the X Wing events, they are two days, but I think some of them, like the second day is more for people who have podiumed like high uh, in the events. So actually you're almost playing for, for sort of, so unless you're a top level, is that right, Nick? They have um, a side event um. the second day. So you make the top cut and if you don't make the top cut, you can yeah, just play the side of it. Side so there's not really any, ne you know, unless you're going to be a top top level player, you don't necessarily need to be there for the second day. But yeah, you know, it's it's quite, you know, for me, my time off is quite precious, um, and I'm sure it's the, it's the same for you. And you know, spending an entire weekend away, you know, you're spending it away from you know your family and you know your loved ones and things like that. Um, so it is it is quite a, a burden on time. So I, I quite like one day events, and that's yeah. that's what we've tried to do with um, the weekender. Is actually if people want to come for one day, then great, they can. Yeah. Um, it, there's no kind of pressure for them to be there for for the two days. Uh, it's the seventh and eighth of December is the finale for the scouring. Um, so we've got that coming up, and then obviously, like I've mentioned before, we do have a nice little event which will still have all the custom boards that you you used to seeing at, at the scouring and things like that over the weekend in October which is the 13th the weekend of the 13th I want to say I think it is um, and that's the Friday Saturday Sunday so the Friday is just like open play on the Saturday we're doing a singles event like I said and on Sunday we've got battle companies so all my boards will be there and there'll be a lot of fun and shenanigans so if you just want to play just to hang out have fun a few drinks and and the cafe at Element Games will be open I've had confirmation excellent by the weekender um, so the cafe will also be open then. So there'll be some decent grub there. Thing. So yeah, so we'll have a cafe on site, which has never been a thing at um, Element. We always have to get takeouts and stuff like that, and dominoes and what have you, um, which is really exciting. Really exciting. I'm looking forward to that, because there seems to be a lot of effort going into it not just being the kind of food you'd expect. Yeah. It's going to be like proper, proper food. Pro proper grub. Yeah, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so that's... Um, uh, dice. Teodor, oh, wait, sorry. Uh, um, yeah, Dice Tales, turnies 12 to 18 people, so kind of smaller events, I yeah, guess. Yeah, small events are nice. nice yeah. Yeah. Teodor, Vic Blooder, what are your thoughts on Legendary Legions? Uh, the Black Gate Opens in specific. So, Black Gate Opens is the one with, you can take the troll chieftain mm -hmm. with three points of might I believe I, I can't remember ex the exact rules I think have we got the book up there is it uh, no we haven't got it up there I don't no, think we haven't, we haven't got, got it up there. here um, it, it looks for, I've not played it um, I've not played it so I I can't give any kind of experience but I think you can you know having the, the troll chieftain with three points of might that is any any hero I mean the, tr the troll chieftain is decent he's, anyway he's solid yeah he's, uh, um, but giving him an extra point of might you know it, it, he is forcing everybody that you fight to to strike up yeah. against him his stats are amazing I always find that when you have a monster that is a hero character as well people are terrified like, uh, but as yeah. you know jumps to mind straight away he is difficult to deal with anything that has monstrous the uh, goblin king yeah yeah can use monstrous power attacks as a hero has might is a scary scary prospect and yeah it's the legendary legions themselves. Uh, me and Damien did actually did a, a live stream where we spoke about um, Gondor at War and the, the the different things. And it depends what you want to get from it. When you're saying what do we think of it, I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. Anything thematic gets thumbs up from me anyway. Um, as far as is it uh, competitive, not used it. No. It looks like it's not going to be a pushover. I'll, I'll say yeah. that. 
I um, think has anyone used it who's watching has anyone used that legendary legion and how have you done with it that'd be from memory I don't know. think you can take shamans in it okay. so I think with the amount of terror causing stuff um, and generally the low courage of that that army yeah. um, I think that's probably where it might struggle a little bit yeah um, but again I don't don't quote me on that I, I, I don't know off the top of my head but I think that's probably where it would it would struggle perhaps yeah. are you thinking of, are you thinking of fielding it um, if you are and you're painting it up make sure you get some pictures on our Facebook group uh, yeah. Top Table Gaming Community I'd love to see them I love seeing trolls painted yeah there's just something about the aesthetic of um, a big model isn't it just yeah the, the trolls from Lord of the Rings movies that just looks awesome it just brings back a lot of fond memories for me of the first time that I watched the movies and was just like yeah that yeah. is when that they break through the doors at, um, at Minas Tirith yeah you yeah. soldiers of Gondor <laughs> and uh, yeah you know, all of, you, know, everyone, you, you know a lot of them soldiers are thinking yeah, yeah alright yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all stood there like brave but it's like we're not all magic like you is, like, <laughs> the thing is like as soon as they break through like Gandalf's face just drops yeah, it's like, it's oh, like oh yeah actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that was uh, maybe that was a bit of a, a mistake yeah uh, uh, Rob Camp yeah, we filmed at Rohan and Wizards. Yeah. It was a great day. That's it was I red think, hot that day as well, I remember. If I remember correctly, Rob should have had that in the bank. And because of some horrible sorcerous blasting and things like that, I think James might have just clinched that one. So can you just let us know what the outcome of that one was? Yeah, in, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, Rob, you can correct me. Was it one of the first games? I'm sure I remember you saying it's like one of the first games you've actually played. Like Could, could have been, genuinely. Yeah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong like I said um, Top Table Gaming waving I don't know if that's Lee or Jay it'd be, it'd be one of them. how are you guys. doing it's alright we're here doing the graft it's fine yeah it's alright and it oh, alright okay alright cool I was, I was, yeah you might have wondered what I was doing and I was talking to them. <laughs> my ears are bunged up next so I can't hear nothing um, duh, duh, duh. Uh, Scott Johnson, he just turned 13. Happy birthday! To, welcome to the teens, yeah. uh, Harry. He's listening, so don't, don't make his head any bigger, please. Uh, <laughs> he does love the game and would love to go every event if possible. Will you keep plugging away, my my friend? Because I'm getting a bit of echo. Can you hear echo? Yeah, is that on you, Nick? I think it's coming out of his, oh, right. his earphones. You yeah, keep plugging like... away, Harry, because you are already a very, very good player. And if yeah. you keep going the way that you're going, you are going to be a force to be reckoned with without a single doubt. Absolutely. Um, Du, du, du. Where are we up to? I've lost. Oh, Skull Munch. Hashtag, hashtag Top Table Bake Off. Yeah. Uh, Glenn says, good TG, TTG fam. I don't know if it's a paint is. You know the one that's got like a 90 on? <laughs> yeah. Blue might be a bit harsh, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Like so, some of these that I've painted in blue, they, they, they are a little bit, look a little bit stark. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Glenn. Good TTG fam. I think I might have been meant to be good morning. Um, Blackjack Legacies, that's Andy. Morning all, just, just dropping in to say hi. Hi, Andy. Still getting a bit of echo. Can you hear echo? Is it my ears? Yeah, no, it's, it's his earphones. Can oh, is it? Right. There, isn't it? Where am I hearing it from then? I can hear echo. Oh, I don't know. It's not coming from your not laptop. On, not on the stream. Oh, right. All oh, right. Oh, there we go then. Have you got your phone on? No. Oh. Don't know where that's coming from. As long as you guys can't hear it, that's the important thing. Mm. Um, uh, good to see you, but morning. Yeah, I assume that that's what you meant. Morning, buddy. How you doing, Glenn, my friend? Another uh, uh, weekend at attendee. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, do you know what we, we need to get like for every like event that everyone comes to, like all the weekenders, we need to get them, like a little badge or something so yeah. they get like a little collection over time. Um, Skull Munch, hey Andy, how's it going, pal? How you doing, um, Andy? Good to have you, brother. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Tuning into a Middle Earth video, yeah. anyway? Blackjack Legacy, hey, fella, not bad. I see you just um, got rumbled on your purchases. <laughs> Skull Munch, ha yeah, whoops. Uh, I got all the new releases, good stuff. Blackjack Legacy, just waiting for mine to be delivered too. This isn't Middle Earth stuff that I'm there waiting on, I'm guessing. Uh, Tiny T, Troll Chief is amazing, use him so much uh, to, to munch enemy heroes. That's what he's designed for, isn't it, really? Yeah. It's, uh, Keep him, just sort of, he can tie up. I mean, how much, how much is he? Do you know how many points he is? Uh, one twenty. No, might be a bit, might be a bit more than that. What might? I can't remember off the top of my head. He's going to keep uh, heroes very, yeah, very busy. And, and you know he, what? He's, he's one of those models that you, you see across from you on the table. And ev every turn, you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what how am I going to gonna deal that? with him? How can I deal well, with it? And yeah. it's just, yeah. just, just, just feed him. Just, just like one a turn and yeah. like try, try and hold him but up. he's a hero, though. Heroic combat. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. This is the problem. Exactly. Um, Skull Munch, awesome. I hope you enjoy. I think that was in reply to Andy. Um, 
uh, Rob Camp tabled him in May, and yeah, it was the first game I had played. Yeah, yeah so that that was uh, yeah, that was that was good. Um, loving your verbs, Tanya uh, is amazing. Oh, to to munch enemy hero. So yeah, skull munch, munch. Yeah, get, I get the connection there. Steve Bonner, uh what Lord of the Rings minis do you enjoy and least enjoy painting? Um, Me, go you, you hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> I won't had, tell you whether it's least or most. I've had a high elf army that has been oh. in the works for the last two and a bit years mm. um, and I just oh, the heroes I love and I've painted loads of the heroes and I really enjoy them but the plastics I just really don't like them but I want to have that army so yeah. um, I think I'm, I've, I think I've finished the plastics now I've still got the some spearmen to do Yeah. Um, so they are kind of on my painting table as well um, but yeah the plastics just really really put me, me off what do I like painting? I've really enjoyed painting um, uh, Range of the North recently. They, right. they were like, they, I just, it felt like I just flew through them. Yeah. Um, what else have I enjoyed painting? Um, anything with a lot of metallics on, I quite enjoy. So like Warriors of Minas Tirith. Um, you say that. I, I think you can, uh, you, you can get quite a good, a, a good finish to them with, with yeah. very kind of minimal effort. Like, what were you gonna say? Uh, when you said metallics, probably yeah. the least favorite Middle Earth miniatures that I've ever painted were um, Mirkwood Elves. Really? Horrible to paint. And then sort of a, a following on from that is Mirkwood Cavalry. Again, because it's the exact same art. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, hated. I, was every moves. Second I thought you went the plastics. The no, it's the fine cast. Fine cast ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, You've when, got a full army of them as well. Yeah. When they were released, I spent silly money because I, I didn't see anyone with an army of them and I think I brought them I've got a funny feeling if Damien's still in you can correct me here I've got a funny feeling we came to uh, myself and Jay It was it a seven stones then? yeah it must have been because it was yours and Tom's event at the scout hut and we actually won best army or best painted with it uh, and it was did, kind of, did Jay paint that or was that you? No, Jay didn't paint anything standard. Uh, Jay don't paint anything now. Nick paints all Jay stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't on the live stream. He's, he's always going. I've painted this. I've painted that. I've I'm just getting through it's the like, terrain. Yeah, it's like well, actually, Nick's there, kind of yeah. quickly airbrushing stuff. It's like I'm, I'm on it, master. I'm yeah. on it, master. But those, <laughs> th those are the worst that I've ever painted, uh, and the best I've ever. I thoroughly, thoroughly, but it, pro it probably helps that it's my favourite model in the range. I enjoyed every second of painting Thrandall on Elk. Yeah. Every single second. And he's not an easy miniature to paint. I just really enjoyed painting him. Yeah. I tried, I pushed myself. I tried wet blends and different type of yeah, blending. Yeah, like with the fleshes and things that I'd never tried before. And I was really happy with how he turned out. I mean, I look at him now and, he, you know, I'm still happy with him. But, like, I look at him now because it was a long time ago. That's that two, he, two years? Yeah, it must have been. Uh, there's things that I could. And you think I could I could have painted him in about half an hour? I keep saying I'm gonna I'm just gonna go and touch that up. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do that. But there's always something to do. So and yeah, there's all, then there's always something to do, isn't there? It's yeah. Funny how it sells that are my favourites. Yeah, I didn't realise that before. Um, but yeah, that that's my my worst and my favourites. What about you? What's what's your favourite? Let us know in the chat. Bloody white scars, isn't it? Um, oh, Middle Earth though. What let us know about Middle Earth? Yeah. Um, uh, where are we up to? Uh, Blackjack Lacey is just on daddy duty so thought I'd put you guys uh, on for a bit of hobby chatter uh, no idea what you're talking you knew, about it's because you knew I was on Andy wasn't it? Come on. Yeah, well, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. no idea what you're talking about mind well it's alright you can learn you can learn how's your um, you can learn the, the master game of all games Yeah. How how's your uh, Middle Earth kind of adventures going because I know you yeah. bought the Palinor Fields box set but I've not seen any any more updates since then um, so have you have you stopped have you have you and, he, and when are you coming down to play? Yeah. When are you yeah, coming down we, to play? I'm sure last time, well, last time I, I saw you, I'm sure we said that we were going to try and get a doubles game in. Was it? Is it Jason that's yeah. his brother-in-law? I think, because I think both of you guys were learning it, and I think we were we were keen to get a game in. So yeah. get yourself up on the... Uh, Anyone who's in the chat now, I'm talking to you, Skull Munch and uh, Ruth, get over onto Blackjack's Facebook page and demand... He yes. gets in a Middle Earth battle report soon. Yeah. Um, we want to see it. I 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 want to see I want to be involved. I want to show you how them rules work. Yeah. The master rules. And uh, show, show you how it's an amazing game. Yeah, the best game ever. It'll become, it'll become a Middle Earth channel. 
after he passed. Uh, he will, yeah. 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 Uh, Chicago Hobbit League, Troll Chieftain is 140. 140. That was close. What did I say? 120, 130. So I think he's worth the points all day long. Yeah. Uh, well, when you compare him to, to kind of other stuff that are, that's out there, I think that because he fights seven, isn't he? Yeah, uh, Glynn's just put his uh, three might, two will, two fate. That's it. So he's got your proper heroic stats rather than. Is he just three wounds? A, yeah, he'd be three wounds. Because a lot of the big stuff went to four, like in the latest thing, didn't it? They've not no, pumped that him up to four, have they? No, I think he's, I think he's still three. Still three. That's quite cool. Uh, but, 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 how do you both feel about release schedule is for replacing Fine Castle, the Rings and Minis? With Ford World Resin, um, I wouldn't hold your breath. Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath. I think. I don't know if they will. Uh, there was I a there was a time there was a time when I did, and I hoped. Yeah. Um, that they would, but I don't think they will. I'll be honest. How do you feel about Finecast? What's your What's your thoughts on it? Not to Not to kind of stoke the, I, yeah, the flames. I don't, I, of, I, I, of I don't want to start up one of those conversations. Um, I dislike it. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't enjoy painting it. Um, is it the worst thing in the world? Would it stop me buying a miniature because it was fine cast? No. Nope. Yeah. Um, can you work with it? Yes. It just works differently than metal or resin does. Yeah. The same as resin what? works differently than fine cast. I, does. I prefer painting fine cast to metal. Right. Oh uh, yeah, I don't enjoy painting metal, even though we're painting about five hundred metal models yeah. as we speak. Um, it just feels slightly different, and I don't, I can't put my finger on why it feels different. And the other thing that I do like about Finecast is it's very light. So when you knock your miniatures over, they don't automatically kind of chip and they don't seem to... Um... It's just the warpage. Yeah. If Finecast didn't warp... Yeah, it'd be... It'd be great. The, the master material. And the, the, the thing it also does, which I dislike, and I, I, the, the model that I noticed it most on was Legolas, I think, at uh, 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 Helm's Deep. Yeah. Is that the one where he's, he's got his foot up on the rock and he's yeah. drawing his bow? So I've got both the metal version of that and the fine cast, and they look like two different models. Oh, really? The face on the fine but then cast model it was so gone. I think new fine cast is very, or like kind of a mold made specifically for fine cast. Well, the fine cast shrinks. Yeah, yeah. So it shrinks, that's the problem. That's why he looks so gone um, and looks like he's not had a burger for about three weeks. Would like or to see Lembus bread, whatever you want to call it. Lembus burger. Lembus burger. Lembus burger. That's got to be on, in the ca on the cafe menu at the finale. Yes. Lembus burger. It could be like a be burger in flatbread. With, with, made with lentils or something. No, it'd have a burger on it. <laughs> <laughs> a proper burger. It'd definitely have a dead animal on it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, cool. But yeah, uh, where are we yeah, up to? Legendary Legion Troll, Chieftain is 3 2 2. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you both feel? Oh, we've done that one. I hate painting white, getting there. Have yeah. you tried the uh, Pocketberry White contrast? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm impressed with it. It's not It's it's not going to give you like a smooth. amazing white armour. Yeah. You know, it saves you a ton of time and it looks very, very passable on the tabletop. Glynn says, by the way, sorry for lack of posts, work and plans for the year are full on blast now. Yeah, Got family think... from England over this weekend. Don't worry, man. We know yeah. that you're there. You're one of the OGs of the group. Uh, we know you're always there lurking around, Glynn. Yeah. Um, we're so we're, we're, we're still that. on Glynn watch for any of your posts and things. Yeah. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you, you make your excuses, man. It's all right. Yeah, don't yeah. We know. Uh, do, you know what, do you know what it is? It's well, I've seen you on Blackjack's it, group. It's because <laughs> <it's 'cause laughs> whenever he posts, we're going, where are you up to with your Rohan army? Where, yeah, where yeah. Have, you, have you got them painted yet? It's, uh... And he's thinking, I don't need to paint an army. I'll just come and use Steve's models. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got, he has got the excuse that he has to, he has to fly over. But, you yeah. know, it's, uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But he, he did all right with... With some he did of yours, well. Didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. did very well. Yeah. Uh, where am I? I'm on the feet. I'm on brown. Uh, and that was a nice little theme. Was it an all hero force that you? Uh... Yeah, Lake Town theme. Lake Town. That was it. Yeah. Really, yeah. really good army. Yeah, he did did very well with it. Um, for Lord of the Rings, I enjoyed painting Uruks and Orcs of all kinds, most because of how easy they are for me to paint. That's from Steve. Um, yeah, I kind of found a rhythm with with Orcs, especially. I'm See, not, not... Uruks, I can get into a rhythm with. Orcs, I can't because they're all slightly different, and yeah. and I find it really difficult. And like you, you've seen, like how I paint here, like mm. you've you've painted like twice as many miniatures as, as I've painted, um, but it's yeah, I I just can't get into a rhythm with with orcs because they're all like that slightly different. And yeah, I guess it's like like you're doing, you know, you, you pick a, a couple of different colors and just That's, and just yeah. batch the army out, but. It Before just, you know it, when you, so it's like I'm on three colours now. Yeah. By the time I get to five colours, the models will look almost finished. Yeah. And yeah. then it's just shading just and highlighting. Yeah, yeah. 
So. I suppose, yeah. Um, where are we? Do, 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 do. They did Swan Nights. They did Swan. Oh, you're talking about the change from Fine Cast. Was Swan Nights ever Fine Cast? I thought they were metal. I don't know. I th- yeah, the the ones that I've got are metal, but yeah, um, and then obviously there's the the, the new the new Fine Cast. Yeah, I think um, you're always going to get exceptions to the rule. That could be something to do with the fact that the uh, the moulds. There might have been a problem with the original moulds. Yeah. God, I mean, I'm glad that they did it. Um, I'll show you a little close up of. Uh, what I've done, I can't get them all on because they're on thingies, but I can show you, show you these. I started to do some blues and some browns um, on there, which is nice. Get in there once, like I say, once I get two more colours on them, they're not going to be far off. Not going to be far off. I like, I like those. Sure, what, what are you up to? Yours look like almost finished. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> nice colours, man. I forgot I brought red. I'm gonna get some red on. There. Yeah, get some red on. Um, so yeah, they're, they're they're looking they're looking a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, so How many yeah, have you done? Uh, like five. <laughs> I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, eight, but I've got more colours. I've six. got more. Eighteen. Colours. I've got I've more colours. Mine are almost done. Whereas yours are, you know, you still need to get more colours on. Old school. Old school. Eighteen. Um, I can't batch. <laughs> I can't batch for, for <coughs> toffee. All trolls except for half trolls have three wounds. Yeah. Uh, Skull Munch just posted on Blackjack Legacy <laughs> Facebook group. Good man, call him out. Yeah. Although I'm looking forward to more Warcry content, Andy. Yes, um, I'm all for Warcry, and there's uh, no reason um, why we can't just do everything. No, between us. Yeah, that's yeah. the great thing. Isn't it? I like I like the um, camaraderie ship. If that's what is that what you call it? Com- Cam- camaraderie? Camaraderie that we've got with the Blackjack community. Yeah, it's nice, it's and, it, and it also means that. You know, if, if we're busy and content's dropping off, they can drop over to to, to Andy and vice, yeah, yeah. vice versa, which is which is nice. Um, Frederick Schultz says hashtag Lembersberger. Is it going to be a thing, man? We need to make sure that it's going to be a thing. I've got two votes here, aren't I, Nick? Oh, ben? for it. Lembersberger. Uh, Glyn Seymour says, though I got Warcry content coming up on Monday. Nice. Uh, Regal Targaryen, hello everyone. I've just finished painting the guard of the fighting court, and they, they were fun models to paint. They're not. I quite like painting them. The yeah. only thing I didn't like about them was like the cloaks. The cloaks are a little bit, right. um, but like the the armor and like the helmets yeah. and everything. I painted a lot of them a long time ago, like conversion ones as well. I converted a load of them. Yeah, I had one kneeling down, and I've got a couple that haven't got. Um, that I've lost the the spears for, so I was going to just make like captain models and give them like shields and, yeah. and a sword sort of thing. Yeah. I I just thought it looked like quite a cool model though. See that's that. It, I'm glad that you mentioned those. And me saying that I've done because I've got a mix. I've got probably I had at one stage I think I had three warbands of them. Yeah. Um. I had like. Tw- and didn't they used to be like filth back in the day as well? Yeah. Like, they were yeah, filth. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Why, why why did you have three they were, warbands of filth? All oh, right. Okay. That's, that's basically like because warriors of Minas Tirith were naff. Yeah, no, they, they were they were terrible um, they, back in the, But yeah, so I had like loads of metal ones and then I got the fine cast ones to do conversions because they're very static poses yeah, and yeah. very similar to mix it up. And that is one of the benefits of fine cast, talking about the negatives and positives of fine cast. Conversion wise, they are an right. absolute dream. Yeah. Because you can just cut through them with your with your, with your exacto knife or your, your hobby knife. Really easy. You don't need like a, a hobby dead, saw or anything. Dead like easy that. to pin and drill, like really easy. So yeah, they were great. They were great. Um, get them on the group, Raggle Targaryen. Put them in the uh, face top table gaming Facebook group. Let's have a look at you, yeah. your work, man. I'd be let's I'd be really it. interested to see it. Speaking of SBG Tony Weekend, that says Glyn. I think I thought of a supreme fluffy list. Share Excellent. this list. Share, Share, it. Share it. Unless he wants to keep the fluffiness to himself, yeah. which uh, you know. Steve Bonner says, I was meaning the time between releases, etc., rather than material debate. All right, okay. Uh, okay. I've only a few things uh, but to release this year, but plenty still to add for options per faction. So I must admit, the, the, the kind of the release schedule is kind of not, not confused me a little bit, but I, you know, I get that they've kind of staggered the releases. Because when did um, Gondor at War come out? Was that January? Yes, so, ish. so January time. Um, so obviously we've had staggered releases since then, which is which is fine. You know, it, it gives us all a bit more time to to be able to save up, save our pennies, and 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 uh, you know pick up the the releases as they come out. But it does surprise me that they've released um, Scouring the Shire before they released the Herald of the Dead. Um, yeah. It, you know, and and I I kind of half expected that when Scouring came out that they might be one of the packs, um, you know, of of heroes something that came out at the same time. Um, 
I, I don't know. It, it just seems it seems a little bit odd to me. But you know, I'm, I, I I'm have not, a theory. I'm not the keeper of the purse. I have uh, a, I have a theory. Are you, are you sharing your theory? Yeah. Go so on. my theory is it, it's kind of there's multiple reasons why I think it happens the way it happens. And probably the main one, and probably the easiest one, is probably the most boring answer is that um, factors as to they can only release a certain amount of things Middle yeah. Earth related in a certain period of time yeah. um, and they have to work off marketing and what they think is going to sell best and as far as us not getting stuff like the Herald of the Dead yeah. bear in mind we've still not got the Warbats yeah. we've still not got the Catapult Troll mm-hmm. what that will do if let's just say for instance the Catapult Troll gets released next summer yeah. next summer there'll be a massive hype about the Catapult Troll and it will bring people back to, yeah. to to a product that they released, a, you know, the book, yeah, yeah. Um, and that army prior, and sell other stuff to do with that army that's on the shelves or well stuck be. in the warehouse, Could well which be. is very very smart marketing, and not just for them, it keeps the keeps our hobby interested, yeah. keeps going back to stuff that we may have just forgot or neglected a little bit. But Steve, I want it now. <laughs> but want we all it now. want it now. We wanted everything out. I'm, nah, I, I, you know, I get the staggered releases. I'm I'm, I'm all up for that. Um, so Herald of the Dead, we might not see. We might not. We might not. See. Not. I mean, not might not see. Might not but see might not in see the for, 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 for a while. And it will bring everyone back to Condor at War then. Yeah, that's very true. You know, it will bring them true. back to an old source book yeah. that people are no longer interested in because they're interested in the new source books that are out. Yeah. Um, it's just good marketing, I think. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on scouring then? So far? love it, love it, love it. I think it's 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 great. I've I've loved the book. It's the uh, best. It's the for me. Yeah. It's the best release in the last two years. That's that's a bold statement. A for bold me. statement for me. Um, but yeah, and I, I I'd agree. I think that you know the um, uh, the scenarios in it are brilliant. The, the I think the profiles are probably some of the most unique profiles we've seen. Yeah. Out of any source book so far, it feels like they're kind of pushing the envelope a little bit on them, um, which is great. Um, what do you think the reception has been in the community to it? Mix mixed bag. And I understand. Well, I, I feel it's been a little bit lukewarm towards it. I, I I understand both. Yeah. Sides. Yeah. Of the coin. Uh, I love it, so obviously I'm biased. Um, for competitive players, it's not for them. Yeah. Obviously, it's not for them. Yeah. I, uh, I think ne- neither of the legendary legions in there are kind of setting setting anybody competitive's world on fire. No. Nope. Um, I think you know the lack of spear sports for both is probably one of the key ones. You know the. A low courage fight everything basically for for, for the ruffians mm-hmm. um, and you know yeah you can take a massive huge horde but actually unless you can get them into combats and things it's yeah it's probably not not to a lot of players says and I guess you know the the, the circles that we I say mix in you know a lot of the groups and things that we are parts of um, you know they are kind of more competitive players aren't they uh, uh, competitive players, um, I think, post more these days. It used to be the op- the other way. Yeah, a lot of um, posts on the GBHL, I think, were very um, hobby related. Um, yeah, and I think that's just it's now just flipped. This just is what the, I'm saying about the, like the how it's changed, changed, changed a little bit because yeah. we have more players, more players coming in, and they're coming in from other gaming systems where it's more of a competitive. Yeah. Uh, Community. I think it was that was always bound to happen with you know yeah. release of the a, a new edition and you know more people kind of coming into the to the game and things. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's not it's not a negative thing. It just it is what it is. It's progression. Um, I'd like to see more of the people. I, I th- you know what I worry. I just worry that sometimes people might be scared that they're going to sound silly with what they post. Yeah, and um, the GBHL group has never been that, and um, it's still one of the nicest groups out there. Uh, you know, compared to yeah. the abuse that we're, you see, kinda. we're in a lot of other groups now. Yeah, a lot more groups than I, I ever kind of anticipated being in, and some of the some of the abuse and things that you see in other groups. And sometimes you do think, oh, I'm not going to ask that in there because you know you, mm. you'll get people saying, oh, you can't do that. Yeah, um, that was a typical nerd voice, by the way. Um, but I think you'll find. I think you'll find that. Yeah. Um, so. Um, so yeah, it, you know, it's still a very friendly community and things in there, and and. It's still growing on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an admin in the GBHL group, yeah. um, and I, I see how much it grows, and it's it's great, it's great, and we're getting um, 
like I say, so many different kind of players involved now. Yeah. It's it's it, there's so many facets to it. It's I I look back in fondness at what it was. Yeah. And there's there's parts of the old GBHR that I miss greatly. Um, yeah. And it's become something else, but it's such a big thing now. It's like you say, that's progression. That was always going to happen. Yeah, yeah. The bigger it gets, the more people. It's going to seem more competitive. It's going to seem this. It's going to seem that. Um, but I think if if you're one of those people, and I think there's tons of them out there who just sort of sit on the sidelines, are members of the group, rarely get involved. Yeah. Rarely chat. You know, and they it, use it as a a source of uh, to help them. You know, sit in their rooms and paint their miniatures, and that's as far as they go with it. If that's what floats your boat, great. But I would highly suggest getting involved more, and I would definitely, just definitely suggest like, going to events. Yeah, yeah, going definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, you know, I was just sort of saying that I think the, the reception has been a bit kind of lukewarm to scaring the show when Gondor at War came out. I think there was there was, there was more in it for more people in Gondor at War, wasn't there? You know, the legendary legions were were a brand new thing, and actually some of them were quite competitive. Uh, and I think we've seen a lot of those armies being being played. Um, Whereas I think scouring has just been a little bit. Um, there wasn't. It didn't feel like there's quite the same hype. I, I, I was super hyped about it. And yeah, I couldn't wait. Um, you know, it was it was great. And the miniatures that have been released with it, yeah, are some of the best miniatures I've seen. Yeah, some of them are so cool. And I think that's what people need to. Maybe that's what people are waiting for for the miniatures to come out, and then uh, and then they'll buy buy into I just th- I, yeah, I, I just think it's a lot of the chat now on the group is. What do you think of this list? How well would this list do? Da-da. Which we've always had. Yeah. But it seems more so now. Yeah. Um, I enjoy the game for... What's the word? For, for being the game sort of thing. For I like Tolkien. I like the movies. I like the books. I like the imagery. Like, yeah. It's, you, like, you like the setting and yeah, things more. Yeah. Um, it's what... I like, to, I like to recreate things that are seen in the movies. Yeah. People like... Other people like to build the best possible list they can build that will beat whatever's in front of them. I'm not wrong and they're not wrong. Yeah, they're just two different viewpoints. Yeah. Um, but get from it whatever you want to get from it. This, if if you want if you want to play a load of scenarios that are fun, you're gonna have a laugh playing. You're gonna do, you're gonna do things that you wouldn't normally do like in an event because it because you know it might scupper your chances. You know if you just want to play it for a laugh and whatever, then. It's a great book, yeah. And it's a book that's kind of going back to the old way. It's got how the, to the, how, how to, to build, build and, and things stuff. like that. Yeah, because yeah. that you know that's you know when we did uh, our our review of it, that's what we said. It was it was kind of very more much more reminiscent of the old style of of supplements yeah. uh, and source book um, compared to to how Gondor at War was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know it's it's a, it's a trend that I want to buy get. it now. Yeah, get it. Just buy it using the affiliate link. Yeah. Um, it's a great book, man. I cool. love it. It's my favourite book. It is my it's my favourite one so far. Yeah, definitely. I know I know it's controversial, but it is. Yeah. Uh, should we jump back into the comments? Yes, because I think we are soon going to have to wrap up. I yeah. Think. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so um, school months. Just no, hashtag fly, just do everything. Yeah, fly mammal. I just want to get my ants done after years and years. Someone get me motivated. Paint just your ants. Do them. Do paint them your now. Ends. Get them out now. If you don't paint your ants this weekend, there's going to be trouble. Let me tell you. Um, so you're motivated now. <laughs> Easy as that. Cool. Yeah. Done. Uh, so on to the next thing. Um, Skull Munch. What war cry you got coming, Glyn? Fire Mall says hi, Glyn and Andy. Uh, Glyn says I just got the start set for now, Munch. Uh, one of my mates says uh, Fe. Uh, and another uh, Night Haunt Munch. Um, I'm teaching up to ten people so we can pick our war bands for a campaign. That sounds that cool. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. What's Make sure F- you uh, F- note F- it all on the group. What's Effie? Uh, Where is it? When we're looking. Has Effie and another has Nighthorn. What F-E-P. Effie be? Effie. Don't know. We'll come back to that one. Um, Gwyn says, hey, Ruth. Yes. Um, it's so awesome, Gwyn. I can't even think. It's so, it'll be something Age of Sigma. We'll go, ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Green Chief, nipping out to buy a steak for tonight. Uh, <laughs> I bet you still all want to get back. <laughs> Could be at this rate. I had a steak the other night. It was nice. Did you? Yeah. Got me thinking about steak now. Yeah. Steve Bonner, um, what do you think the releases will be at Ardacon? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Has there been any? Is, is has there been any murmurings or mm, not? As far as I'm aware, I think it's just kind of you know up up in the air at the moment. I've, I've got yeah. absolutely no idea. 
I don't think I, I wouldn't have thought GW have their release schedule on based on non GW events. No, no, um, I don't. I don't think they do. I think if it lands that way, they'd take advantage of it. But I don't think they'd plan it that way. Yeah. Uh, ah. Da, 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 da. Where are we? Da, da, da. Uh, Who else just sang "I Want It All"? I want it all. <laughs> I want it. All. Uh, um, well, I was at uh, Glenn says. Well, I. Well, I was. Can actually ask you and Steve about borrowing figs. Uh, he, he, he wants to borrow. Carry on luggage. What allow po- allow pointy lances? <laughs> they uh, do. I've I've taken stuff. I've taken stuff on the plane. So you 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 can bring your you can bring your toys with you. I have done it myself. So no excuses, buddy. Get them painted. <laughs> but uh, if you need to borrow anything, just just give us a shout. We'll let, see what we can know do. What, yeah, yeah. we know you look you after it. We'll see what yeah. we can do. I'm, I'm not going to paint up a, like a new army for you, but you can borrow stuff <laughs> that I've already got painted. Hobbits. <laughs> we should have some of them ready by the way uh, Glyn Simmer says hashtag undefeated with the untamed beasts uh, is that UF was it UF FE oh um, uh, FE what's FE flesh eaters flesh eaters, flesh eaters. Oh. Oh. Yeah. it's fact as well <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, with the Untamed Beast, though, I'm looking at Cyphalos and stuff. Untamed Beast are awesome, man. The Untamed, uh, I, I, I mean, it could be the player. Some somebody Same. put up on uh, as a comment on one of our videos that uh, they watched eleven battle reports and Untamed Beast have won all eleven of them. Good players, it's, mate. Uh, well, I don't good, know. Untamed it's, Beast, it's, it's them furry underpants. Good players, tell you. See, I, I when I've played because I've not played a huge amount of it. I played, I played a few games. But I'm, I'm just wondering, am I missing something with the Iron Golems? There's got. I said this to Jay. Like, there, there's got to be so. We've be- had conversations. We've gone right. Like, obviously, Untamed Beast are the stronger faction. I'm like, I'm not convinced. I just think maybe something's not clicked yet. Yeah, like you know, because th- the signifier can has got a special rule to get. Yeah, there's like loads of stuff that's, that I've not seen being yeah. used. Yeah, so I, I've not taken advantage of that. I think I've just kind of, I've I've assumed that they're super tough. So you just chuck them in and hope for the best. Hmm. Um, but actually, I don't think they potentially play that way. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that I've got it right, and I think it might just take a few more games, and all of a sudden, like, oh, I'll use ah, that. Right, I, yeah. I think like the the harpoon trick, um, and um, you know some of the tactics that I know you've you've talked about potentially. Yeah. Um, you know, if you can get them to come off, then you can deal some massive damage. Um, but obviously, it's it's all about having the right things and having the right dice to be able to to, yeah. to do it, isn't it? Um, Fly mammal, someone will sort you out, Glenn. Stephen Bonar, hashtag Steve theme and narrative is what you mean. Yeah, theme and the narrative for the win. Glenn Simmons says flesh eaters. Yes, Nick just filled us in. And skull munch. Steve Bonar, who's taking so long to paint these hobbits? What's taking so long to paint these? I did forty in one night's painting. But that's you. That's 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 painting it. Uh, Glyn says of... Prince and Lady Athelian list oh. is that the end of the comments there now uh, I think it might be uh, so yeah, yeah that that's a yeah looks like that yeah that's that's a, a, a cool little list so taking Faramir and uh, an Eowyn yeah uh, I, I before like all the the new rules came in I did think about doing that um, you know as like a, a, a cool themed List and trying to put a win in like more sort of Gondorian type armor. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, <laughs> it's just time, isn't it? You know. Yeah. But do you know, what? because now there are the extra heads on the a win model, um, yeah. so it might be a e- slightly easier conversion to have like a his and hers armor from for her and uh, yeah. her Faramir. You could use the old Faramir model where he's drawing his sword. The yeah. Armor. Um, I think what we're going to do I'm going to get these browns finished off and then we're pretty much going to call it on the stream so I'm going to use this opportunity now to say let us know guys in the chat what are your plans for the rest of the week Uh, hobby wise not just Middle Earth Um, have you got any events coming up that you want us to uh, mention and um, yeah what's what's your plans for this weekend hobby wise and who is who in the chat is coming to the weekender and who isn't coming to the weekender and why you're not coming? Yeah, watch your watch your reasons and yeah. it better be a damn good one. Yeah, it better be. Um, I've quite enjoyed this. Yeah, I mean, I've good. not got half as much painting done as I would have liked, <laughs> but um, you got half as much painting done as you deserve. Like, nice, you know, like, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, Andy, yeah, Andy it, won't get that. No, he won't get that. He won't, he won't get, get that. that. <laughs> he thinks they're dated films, but you know, what does he know? No. Um, but um, no, I I've really enjoyed it, and 
Would a Middle Earth sit and talky type of video be something people you'd like to see more of? Um, I'd be quite happy to do it. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be as regular as the the main live stream. No, it's not. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's weekly. I wouldn't say it's fortnight. I wouldn't say it's monthly. But well, it depends how popular it is. So if you'd like us to do one, maybe on an evening. I know it's Saturday morning, so not everyone's available. Um, yeah, I know there's a few people that have said oh, I'd love to join in, but it's my time with the wife and kids or yeah. something like that. You know, it's um, we were here anyway painting, so we just thought we were going to live stream. Yeah. If it is something that you'd like to see more of, maybe let we could know. do it. So um, let us know, and, and we'd possibly make something happen, and it could be semi regular. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look. Uh, when you're painting up Sharky and Co, Sharky's painted. I have Sharky and Co painted. You, you painted him ages ago, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I painted him a long time ago, before this book was announced, because I, I wanted to do a battle report on my uh, yeah, Shire and, board. and you painted all the ruffians and everything, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, uh, the ruffians, half of them are finished, and half of them are just need final detailing, but yeah, they're pretty much there. Um, so it's just hobbits, really, that we need. Uh, yeah. and, and the characters, Games Workshop, if you're listening, we need <laughs> the characters... At this stage, I'm going to have to use proxies. I hate using proxies. Yeah, I hate don't. it. We don't want to use proxies. But I don't so, want to hang on. I want to get these filmed. Yeah, you know, if you, if Games Workshop are listening, if you happen to want to send us some. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, you know if, we, we, if we, someone we, accidentally sent them out so, early yeah, that, to Top Table Towers that would be, at Stockport, that would be fine. SK1 1 AA. Is that that? No, that, it's no. not. I don't send it there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But please get in touch. Uh, we'd love to uh, get our hands on them and paint them. Uh, that would be amazing. Um, d d d where are we? Fly Mama says coming because it's amazing. Yes, it is. I can't wait. I'm getting excited now. It's like nine weeks. Is it nine weeks? No, oh, is that all? Ten weeks? Nine weeks? It's not long. About nine weeks, I think. Time's flying. About nine weeks. <sighs> Not so th there's going to be a lot of info coming at you hot and fast and I think like this week we're going to get some of the Hobbit stuff into the groups the GBHL and uh, Lord of the Rings Miniatures Rock groups about the event because I'd really like to see a lot of Middle Earth players there it'd be cool um, Flavon says ready to sit in my comfy armchair next to the heater with three weekender hoodies on <laughs> do it uh, Steve heater on now She's talking about, uh, like in October. Oh, yeah. right, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Steve Bonner, Defo want more chats. Just need to get uh, my system to speak and type so I can paint along with you guys. Yeah. You need to get like a little headset. This is the, this like... is the th this is this is the problem. I end up either waffling too much and painting a lot. Well, you, you'll, or you, not painting anything. And... You like a good waffle anyway, don't you? Yeah. So you know it's. Uh... Difficult to get you to shut up at know, times. It's, uh, yeah. uh, Frederick says, not coming to the weekender because living mm. in Germany and stuff, but yeah. going to Ardacon next week. Good man. Cool. Do not let living in Germany put you off. We yeah. have someone coming from Dubai. Yeah. Nine weeks. It is bang on nine weeks. Just had confirmation. Hang on. Yes, it's nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be good it's, like, it's like transfer deadline day. Yes, yes, he's been <laughs> sold. We didn't have him, thank God. Um, uh, I'll see you next weekend, uh, Frederick, because I'm going to be there um, at Ardacom. You're one of the uh, organisers, aren't you? Uh, yeah, so yeah. I've done, done a bit of organising. Um, so if it goes wrong... You can blame me. Um, but yeah, I'll, be, I'll be down. I think I'm down Saturday. Yeah. I'm going to come down... I'm da I'll come down Saturday, come and say hi to everyone, make sure everything's going all right, and, you know... Yeah, make, make sure... Bring, yeah. you a, bring you a can of pop or something. Yeah, cheers, man. Um, and, and then I'll be down Monday. Um, I'm going to come down on Monday in the van. Yeah, picking pop, something... Blah, blah, blah. Something. Oh, maybe. I wasn't going to say what it was. I wasn't going to say what it was. Uh, yeah, picking something up. Um, but yeah, it's, it'll be great to see everyone. So come and say hi, Frederick. Um, if you see me there Saturday evening, I'm going to come and come and speak to people because it's I can't I can't. It's a really busy weekend, but I can't not go. Yeah, and not see it's everyone. Your, it's your anniversary weekend, isn't it? Well, was it's it? the following weekend. All oh, right. But, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's still still iffy ground, isn't it? You yeah. know. It's, uh, that's the thing. So yeah. uh, I look forward to seeing everyone. It's going to be it's going to be a good weekend, regardless. Yeah, um, it and it's my is. birthday weekend. So if you want to bring the presents to the event, that's <sighs> absolutely. I'm sure fine. your birthday's in January. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shut up. <laughs> Scorn says building more wall crack and hopefully getting some painting done. Can't wait for the weekender. You'll get loads of painting done if you don't try and live stream it. <laughs> yeah. Top tip. Um, Glenn's shout is shouts weekender. Uh, Rob Camp nine weeks. Can't wait. Will have been 20, 26 weeks since my last holiday. It's needed. Yes, it is. I'm like you, my friend. When you work for yourself, it's uh, it's it's tough to to justify having time off. Sure. 
I've just had like a I, I've counted it up for the last seven years I've not taken my full entitlement of holiday from work so this year I am making sure I'm doing it yeah do it bro. Um, do it uh, Fly Mama says waffles cake what more does he want the world just the world the world all all the middle earth all the world <laughs> Of the world. All the middle of <laughs> miniatures going. Uh, but you know what? I think I think that's it. Glenn says, "Cheers for the stream, lads. Always good chatting and best bunch around." Thank you, man. Means a lot. We appreciate that. Cheers, buddy. I'm going to give one quick flash of some browns. I'll get the ones off the stand. And how about your hobbits? Hey. 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 <laughs> Dan Gross, you come in. We're just about to finish, my friend. Is finish. that Dan G. Ross? Dan G. Ross, yeah. We're just about to finish. We're just tying up. Um, this is what I got painted. Let me get them in there. Let's can I get them all in there? Look at that. That's that's a proper whole hobbit. Mine look more finished than yours, but you know. Yeah. That's what I painted whilst well, chatting away. Just put put mine in. So there's those. Well, you you, you kind of half started them. Yeah. Uh, and then I just like finished them off. Bear in mind when you look at Ben's. Ben's not done the flesh. No. All right. Oh, did you take them off me? Yeah. Oh, they're mine then. No, 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 no. I finished them yeah, off. Yeah, I finished them off. Look at that, he paints a bit of green on them. Yeah, and they're done. I put a bit of brown on them as well. So that's what Ben did. Yeah. They're way more finished than yours. Oh, dear me, dear me. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we'll flip that to the big screen. Thank you for joining us. It's been a nice, Thanks, guys. nice to come down. I'll, we'll, well, we'll get these finished. Sure. Yeah, you'll get them finished. No, no. I thought they'd get finished. <laughs> yeah, no chance. <laughs> when you said, oh, we're, we're paying 24 of them, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you mad man. <laughs> no, uh, we'll get them out. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll finish my lot tonight. So, well, Do you so, want to take half of them? Yeah, I'll take half of them. We'll split them. We'll split them. And we'll sh we'll post up on the group um, at, at some point over the weekend. We'll try and get them done and get them based and stuff. Yeah. What are we, are well, we not, basing? We're just doing grass. So. Yeah, we'll 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 have a chat about that. Yeah, I think we'll just do grass. Have you got a, a static grass? I, I don't think we'll use proper. I, I I like really sort of fine flock as grass. Person cool. personally, we'll we'll we'll. I don't we'll mind come, doing we'll, the flock. We'll come, we'll come I've, I've got a flock. I, I actually have, but I've not got any small grass because you'd need like the little two, one mil two, or two yeah, mil yeah. grass. Have you got any two mil grass? We'll have a, we'll you have got a any chat. in the shop? We'll have a check in Element. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. If anyone anyway. wants to check in Element store, go online now. Use okay. our affiliate link. Make sure you buy something. It really helps us out. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, as always, do check out the links below. We do have an affiliate link with Element, so you get discount on all your toys, which is good. And we get a big thumbs up from Element, and they sort of help us out here and there doing like unboxings, maybe a day or two earlier, which is nice with their store editions of things. Yeah. Um, so that's great. We have the Facebook links, we have the Twitter links, we have the Insta links. Yeah. Make sure you tag us on everything. Post in the Facebook group, tag us in your Insta pictures. I know a lot of you do have uh, Instagram accounts. Yeah. Make sure you tag us because we, as long as you don't mind, will then share what you're posting on your Insta, on our Insta, and the same goes for Twitter as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. If there's you know any cool paint jobs stuff, you know, I've, in the past, I know I've kind of collared a couple of people yeah, saying, "Do you yeah, mind if I put yeah. this up on Twitter?" If, if you if you tag us in things, we know that you're giving us the thumbs up, and we don't want to ask um, to to share your stuff, and we're more than happy to do that. Um, and also, we do have a Patreon, so you do, and the Patreon is what makes this yeah possible. A um, big thanks for the guys that are, are on Patreon that have joined us this morning. So yeah. Rob's in there, Scott's been in, Rain's been in. Um, who else has been in there? I think uh, that was, is that it for some of the patrons that. but yeah. big thanks to you guys it's, um, it's amazing it's, like it, I can't say it enough and I, I know I do waffle on a bit but I can't say enough how grateful we are for you guys who back us on Patreon it really does help us and it makes a lot of things uh it, it makes it makes, yeah, it makes, it makes us be able to do a lot of things that we wouldn't normally be able to do so thank you very much um asking what your Instagram is what is our oh. Instagram? <laughs> dead professional because we're a team now, we allocate jobs, you yeah. see. And the guy who runs Instacamp isn't here. Yeah. He was here this morning. He, he popped in. He's popped uh, in. He's popped our in. Instagram is... Have you got it on yours? Uh, I will do. Give me just two seconds. Uh, it's Top Table Gaming. Just Top Table Gaming, all one word. Top Table Gaming, all one word. And uh, our Twitter is at Top Table Gamer. Yes. Gamer. 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 Um, um, I look after the Twitter. Lee looks after the Instagram. Yeah. Um, so... Just someone else already got top table gaming on Twitter. Terrible, terrible. We'll have to buy it off them. Gits. 
if our Patreon funds come through, yeah. you know, like you know, it's uh, you know, uh, uh, but yeah, any, anything that you can do, it really does help, and we really, really do appreciate it. Um, we want the channel to grow and grow, and it is growing at an amazing rate. It's actually been minute, quite. Uh, I've been in awe watching how much it's grown in the last six months, twelve months. Uh, yeah. But of late, it's like going strength to strength so we want to keep doing stuff like this we want to keep doing the videos that we're doing the battle reports are doing very very well for Warcry the Middle Earth battle reports do well the 40k battle reports we're kind of just getting there we're learning the ropes they are going to get a bit of an overhaul uh, now that we have Nick on board because I now can do things that I wouldn't normally have known how to do yeah. um, so expect some changes for the better uh, in battle reports going forward, and yeah, unboxings are still around. Reviews, yeah, absolutely. The the, the fortnightly live stream is always fun. Um, and talking I'm, about reviews, I'm using my wet palette now. Yes. So um, and I'm yeah. using the XL. Yeah, yeah. So there yeah, will don't be. Don't worry, mate. It's all right. You'll get there one day. Yeah, I'll get I'll, I'll get the big one <laughs> eventually. Um, so that's that's still to come. Yeah. Um, so there's loads to come. Uh, lots of exciting stuff. Loads more events. We'll talk more about it in the next live stream. Um, but yeah, make sure you tune into the next live stream and let us know if you want to see a solely Middle Earth themed live stream. I'd love to do it. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Um, it would just sort of keep. So I'd, I'd feel like I'm keeping a, a toe into the Middle Earth community as, as I've not really been there for the past few months, and I want to. I do want to get back into it. So, I've been Top Table Steve. And I've been Top Table Ben. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye from Nick. Thank you, Nick. And Cheers, we will Nick. see you next time. Take see care, you later, guys. guys. Bye bye.